Peace and grand rising to the sovereign, original indigenous natural divine heirs. Today is October 29th. October is indeed the eighth month. October, like octopus, means eight. And we have competently stated that on the public record that the months for the year are what they should be and they are competent now that we have stated them. October is the eighth month. November is the ninth month. December is the 10th month. January is the 11th. February is the 12th. And then the first month or the 13th, depending on, depending on which, which calendar you're using. March will be the first month for us. For us more, March 21st is our new year. And um, it's the 13th month when you do a 28-day cycle, sun cycle, or 28-day moon cycle, whichever you prefer. And it's really the moon cycle. So we have several different calendars that we use. With that being stated, all rise and stand and remain standing into perpetuity. This is a Sovereign Living Ancient Article 3. Moorish American Al Moroccan court action in alignment with the ancient Noahide laws. Um, we are the Sovereign Living Justices and Ego Soon, Pauline Denise Ritchie. Uh, my free chosen sovereign appellation is Light to Jiri Bay. All are in capitis diminution nolo in red ink, in propio persona su juris, in propio solo and in propio heredes. We are compete et corpus juris legalis, which is our statement that we are the lawful and legal natural head and body for our empire. All Moors are the original indigenous sovereign ancient Al Moroccan Moorish American ascendants of the great pharaohs of Kemet and of the ancient Moabites, Canaanites, Israelites, Hamatites, Cushites, and Hittites. Our full faith and trust, our allegiance, our honor, our credit, and our energy are hereby vested in ourselves. For we are the people who are the original indigenous, natural divine, sovereign, ancient, empire state for Morocco. We're the de jure Moorish National Republic federal government. We're ancient Washington District for Columbia. We're the universal Moorish American consulate and the earthwide Article Three Moorish American consulate court. Today we are exercising the law by our sovereign status, which is... Uh, Yes, by our sovereign status, which is the Article Three Living United States District for Columbia Court, and we're the sovereign fiduciaries, original creditors, executors, trustees, ministers, possessors, title beneficiaries, and title trustors for all causes for action. We are peace. We are one nation, one state, one empire, and one God. We hereby recognize ourselves and accept our sovereign ascension. We do hereby possess in our custody all land, all natural resources, and all commerce. We, the one true living God nation, are not at war, and we hereby exercise all eternal, ancient, original sovereign rights at this time, and at all points in time, not pro tonk. The principles that we share are not our opinion, along with our sovereign, ancient, powerful demonstrations and study. These laws and processes that we share are based on principles of stare decisis, res judicata, ancient positive supreme law for, for the land, long established in sovereign order. Erudite principles and processes for daily practical application to intelligently govern our vast estate every day is what our ancestors have given us to share with the ancient nations, clans, tribes, states, and governments at Earth, and for this we are grateful. Uh, Congratulations to everyone and to our nation on our on day three of our three day full moon fast. Um, and congratulations to all of the other nations at Earth who observe the same custom because many other nations do the same thing. They fast for this three day period. Uh, the day before the full moon, the day of the full moon, and the day after the full moon. And um, they use this time. The full moon is, is actually sending electricity to the earth. And it's actually reflecting the electricity that we send to send out. It sends it back to the earth, and it charges 
and gives frequency and vibration to the water, to the land, to the trees, to, to us. So it's basically uh, reflecting we, the living batteries at Earth, and the same thing goes for the sun and the stars and, and all of that. I'm, I'm hoping that everyone had an opportunity to get out last night and, and just look at, just behold the glory of the moon and Venus as they traveled. Venus traveled under the moon, directly underneath it the entire time. And then uh, the day star came up in the middle of the night also. So they, the three were in, in the sky at the same time. However, Venus was higher in the sky than the day star, which, is, which that means that's meaningful for those who know what the day star symbolizes and what Venus symbolizes and what the moon symbolizes. Uh, the moon is, is, is us, the mother nation. Venus is us as individuals, okay, following the, the, the nation as a whole and how we're doing. That's why Venus is the brightest, because we each are a presentment, and Venus is a representment of us, of not us, but of our energy, particularly the matriarchs. And then the day star is... The, the, the previous era and the sleep era, the sleep time, those who held space is what the day star is in its proper status. When the day star is incompetently presented or presented from a war perspective, it is called the Luciferian star. And, and still, that's still... Uh, we know that we have no enemies, and we are not enemies to anyone. And so those those hold great meaning. There is duality in all of the meanings. So don't be spooked by anything because there's duality there. Everything from the last era, all of the definitions that we were given and, you know, uh, things were defined incompetently in the last era. This era, uh, everything, we are competently defining everything. We are the Phoenicians. That's what define, actually, that word came from. The Phoenicians, uh, Phoenician or phonics is the root word for define. And when you take the prefix D away, fine and Phoenician is the same, same word. To refine something is to make it better, to bring it to its proper place. To define something, really, in the past, it was to not Phoenician it. So with that being stated, happy Holy Wind to all. October 31st is coming up this coming Tuesday. This is a very powerful time for us a very powerful time uh, in terms of the spirit realm. And just as we were stating in the meeting before the meeting, um, this time period, our ancestors, when the full moon time comes first and foremost, our ancestors give us extra information, it seems. Uh, for us, we've always experienced being given extra access to the estate at the full moon time, uh, as we honor the full moon. And then with October 31st and Happy Holy Wind coming up, uh, that with the full moon energy is, is, is the answers. Any answers that you were looking for, now is the time to just acknowledge the presence of the full moon, acknowledge holy, the holy wind, uh, that holy day, because uh, they call it Halloween. It's not Halloween. It's holy wind for us because we've already won. It is a holy day. And the veil in the spirit realm between us and our ancient ancestors is the thinnest. And really, there's no, there's no veil between us. That's a spiritual connotation because 
our ancestors, we are our ancestors' return. It's just that we get more information. Uh, and that's just been my experience. Some, some it may have other experiences. Uh, we're constantly getting information, constantly, constantly. So um, are there any questions, comments, wisdom uh, regarding uh, anything? Uh, that we have spoken about in the in the past. Just one moment. Let me. Uh, I'll share my screen here in a moment. Uh, but what we want to do is open the table so that we can um, Islam. Islam. Islam, is that when you're going to get yeah, your free yeah, conveyors? We can hear you. We can hear oh. you, Emperor. Um, um, am I able to speak right now? Yes, Emperor? you are. We can hear you. Yes, ma'am. I um I actually wanted to get in here a little earlier so I could actually speak with you, Empress. Mm -hmm. I um I'm dealing with some stuff right now. I've I've been watching. I really like in the past you did the. Uh, you you did the better best. talk now because you don't have no cell phone service. Just a moment. Yeah, go ahead. I'm doing it. Um, I listened to the presentation when you talked about the 222, the article of in the actual Constitution, yeah. and it, it 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 really is spiritual for me. And I'm gonna tell you why because I'm dealing with a case right now with my daughter. My mm -hmm. daughter was beaten by uh, three. Um, I don't even want to call them Caucasian. They was domestic terrorists when she was 18, and we've been dealing with that case for the last four years. Mm -hmm. And um, my daughter right now is in jail right now, actually, in, in Houston, Texas. Um, mm -hmm. I'm kind of going through a lot, but I just filed a federal complaint mm -hmm. uh, last week, which was the last day I could file it. Mm -hmm. And then I listened to to you, and you was like 222, and that is like a powerful um, number combination. And the, the ironic thing is my birthday is February 22nd, and I'm like, this right here, yeah. you know, I know that I was chosen for yeah. a lot. I know that the ancestors chose me for a fight. Yeah. And I'm in it. Like, I just filed this federal lawsuit against 28 Individuals, the police, the judges, the clerks, mm -hmm, the, mm -hmm. um, the attorney general for the state of Wisconsin. I just filed it literally, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I'm at a war. I'm in war. I'm at a physical war and a spiritual war, and yeah. I really, um, I you know, just having some brothers and sisters support right now mm -hmm, would be great. Mm -hmm. Like I'm, I'm really like in the fire, and um. I really appreciate and I'm grateful. I'm grateful and thankful. Um, whenever I see your voice, I mean, hear your voice and see your face, it just puts me in another mind frame. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. And I'm just, right now, um, these people targeted my daughter because of who I am. Mm -hmm. Because I spoke up for our sisters here in Wisconsin when they shut all of our businesses down back in 2009. Mm -hmm. I spoke for all of the sisters. They said that all of our daycares were operating fraudulently and they shut all of us down. And mm -hmm. I spoke up for all our sisters and they've been targeting me ever since. Mm -hmm. And um, when the county had those police jump on my daughter. She was only 18. She was 110 pounds. Mm -hmm. Those domestic terrorists jumped on my baby back in 2019, and mm -hmm. they did that in front of my two-year-old. They mm -hmm. did it in front of me. They tased her. This was because she would not give them her, her identity. She wouldn't tell them her name after she had mm -hmm. not committed any crime. And so I've been praying them every since because what ended up happening is after they unlawfully arrested my daughter, after they had her on the ground, after they assaulted and attacked her, then one of the one of the um, terrorists yelled, "She bit me! She bit me!" And that was because they needed to have a justification for arresting this tiny 18-year-old 
and okay. Her. If if I may if I if I may interject in first. Yes, 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 ma'am. The first thing is uh that we're so grateful that you're here. That's number one. Because all of the remedy for everything that you've experienced and everything that your daughter is experienced, that remedy is within you and we're here to assist with that. You and your daughter and your nationality are the key and 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 is the answer. So let me ask you, how long have you known that you were a Moor? Um, it's, it's, it's like about 2012. Since like 2012, mm -hmm. um, I was first attacked in 2009. Mm -hmm. And um, about 2012, I became aware um, through um, Dr. Ali Muhammad, who mm -hmm. had um, the Aboriginal Republic of North America, Mm -hmm. um, I started with his teachings, and then I've mm -hmm. been kind of just adding on since there. Since mm -hmm. then, I don't feel like I have everything completed still. Mm -hmm. I kind of feel like I've made some mistakes along the way. Um, I did um, have Empress, I believe it's Sharon Bay. Mm -hmm. um, she was supposed to have did some paperwork for myself. I paid for that to get done for my mm -hmm. daughter and myself mm -hmm. all over again. Mm -hmm. Um and then I noticed she was giving us like a, I forget, like a number, like a, a, a MAC number. Mm -hmm. I don't know if those are, I didn't know, like, I'm like, okay, these things are still, <clears throat> um, these these numbers seem like to be there bonded or something with the state. So it kind of scared me a little bit. So I kind of didn't, I don't know if that was the right way to go. I just kind of mm -hmm. been leery. And I'm just looking for the right direction. And I know that these people are, have been attacking me. They're attacking my daughter. We've been fighting this criminal case for the last four years. And my daughter, because she has lupus now, mm -hmm. the way that she was attacked, it actually brought an onset of lupus. So her body is always attacking her. She's always in inflammation. So she doesn't know what to say when she's in court, and you know they won't let me speak for her. But I have to keep firing public defender after public defender. It's just been an ongoing battle, and so. Um, How many public defenders have you fired? Four. Let's just ask. Four now. Okay. I think it's it maybe five. Okay, let me say this about that. If you can fire a public defender, you can speak in court. They, you just don't know that you can. Yeah, well, the judges tell me I can't every time. That, but but see, they're not they're not the real judges. You are, mm -hmm. and that's why you have the authority. See, they're showing you on one hand that you have the power to fire and hire. You can fire a, a someone pretending to be a judge too, but that seat cannot be uh, left empty. You must take it. That's mm -hmm. the that's the issue. So. We, Empress, if you don't mind, we are a Congress here, and, and you're a part of our Congress also. Uh, I would like to hear from anyone in the Congress who wants to add to what we're stating here with the Empress, because a lot of times I do a lot of the talking when, when this whole Congress is as competent as I am to, to, to assist and to give you some guidance on how to deal with this. So is there anyone in the Congress who want, who, who want to offer some words of encouragement to our sister and then give some guidance on the next steps to take? Now, let me say this, too, before, before we open the floor, Empress, uh, open the table, rather. You've not made a single mistake because everything that you've done has led you to this point. Okay. So know that you've not made, don't worry about anything that you did in the past because jurisdiction can be invoked at any time. That's the law. Mm -hmm. So ha so you have declared your nationality? Yes, I have. Okay, great. Um, anything that was done, even with regard to Empress Sharon, uh, we honor Empress Sharon. We send our, our honor to her for the work that she has done. Uh, any any documentation that she gave you can be used. We we restate uh, uh, everything that we've been given. We restate it, uh, and restating it is simply a matter of the writing. Mm -hmm. So, 
a lot of the uh, Islam, I, I, I yield the floor, uh, Noble Phoenix. Okay, uh, I forget the sister's name. Uh, what is what is her appellation? What's her appellation? Shankwell. 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 Well, pleased to meet you. And um, you know, know, just just know this: you you're in the company of many who have gone through similar trials and tribulations of different degrees, as serious, as heartbreaking, as emotional, as all of those things as what you're going through. Okay. So mm -hmm. you're not talking to someone or people who are not sympathetic to what you're going through. Now, while we've got already gone through the fire in many cases, yeah. and yes, we got scorched. Yes, it was a little warm. <laughs> I'll put it that way. Okay. And we didn't always know what we were doing. We did not know all the things that we could have done. So that's not the point. The point is, there are some things you will do, you can do, and yeah. that's what you're going to need to focus your energy and attention on and allow yourself to be guided by the spirit from within you because that's the God force inside of you speaking in most cases. You know how you have the, over the years when you were growing up, you know I should have followed my first mind? You mm -hmm. remember that? You remember ever saying that? Yes. Yes. So what did your first mind tell you? The right thing to do. Yeah. And then you overrode it and went with some other emotional or logical decision, whatever it was at the time. Mm -hmm. So as you're going through this, listen to that first voice that says, yes, move forward. No, don't accept this. No, don't agree to that. Okay? Mm -hmm. And let that guide you. Now, is everything going to work out perfectly where you get to save the day? Not necessarily at this moment because mm -hmm. the, the false construct is still being deconstructed. And it's still here. We're still having to deal with the remnants of it. It's already being dismantled, but there are remnants that are still in place and they're still causing eh, a little distress. I'll put it that way. A lot of distress in some cases. Mm -hmm. Right, but it's it's all for your benefit. A sister told me one of the empresses when I was locked up. She said, "Just know that all things are happening and they're going to work out in your favor." Yes, I never forget that expression because she said that to me so many times while I was locked down in their prisoner of war camp. She said that to me so many times because I needed to hear it so many times in order to start believing in myself and believing that things were going to work out to my benefit. And guess mm -hmm. what? I'm here to say and testify. They have. Mm -hmm. Okay? And now I have clarity. Gone through the fire, been singed a little bit. Okay? But guess mm -hmm. what? I survived. I came through it. Now I can look at it with clarity. Know what things that need to be cleaned up. As Sister Light just mentioned, jurisdiction can be invoked at any time. So now mm -hmm. I'm not even stressed about when I need to go and clean up the mess that I allowed myself to get into. But now I know I can. You see? There you go. Yeah. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. Just, you know, hopefully that'll, you know, um, give you some extra courage and extra incentive and extra whatever you need, encouragement, whatever it is, uh, to continue doing what you're doing and making the progress that you need to. Study, study, study is what the prophet told us. Yes, yes, and you yes, study yes, yourself yes. over and over because within self is your answers. Okay? Yes, yes, yes. All right. That's yes. it. I will yield with that and just leave that with you, okay? Peace and love to you. Peace and love. Uh, Islam. Islam Empress. Um, uh, Empress Am Aisha and then Empress Shasha. Wonderful. Empress Aisha. Uh, Sasha, you want to look into meditation also, but look into positive meditation, turning the negative into positive. And I'm going to leave it to you to look up meditation. I don't know if you've done that or are doing that, but that would be my suggestion also. Thank you. Thank you. Gratitude. Thank you. Gratitude. Mm -hmm. So has your daughter been declared, uh, has she declared her nationality, if I may ask? No, and 
this is the thing. I've been so busy warring with these people. I really never did anything for my children because I was trying to set myself free and survive and do all of these things. Yeah. And so yeah. um, I literally just had another lawsuit. I've had, I still have like three lawsuits in, mm-hmm. in, in Wisconsin right now. Mm-hmm. But one of them I just won and made Progressive settle with me um, when Progressive basically had um, Progressive we had a well. Someone ran into the back of me when my baby was six months old, mm-hmm. and they basically never paid out. They ended up saying that it was my fault. Just long story short, I was in court with them for about over probably a year, and the judges were of course on progressive side because they're a large corporation. And then I'm in there uh, presenting myself, and they didn't like that. But, of course, I got all of the life force, the ancestors, all the energy behind me. Yeah. And I'm following everything they're doing, um, uh, finding everything that they're doing wrong in the case. And what I did do within this particular case mm-hmm. is I did the nationality documents. I filed them within this case, just Beautiful. brand new ones. I just redid some brand Beautiful. new ones, filed them in the case, um, the proclamation, all of that. And what they ended up doing is they they created two cases. So I had a case with all lowercase, Shanquil mm-hmm. Bay, mm-hmm. and then they still had an all cap case. Just Beautiful. for me actually putting those documents into the court record. So I tried to get a judge to recuse herself after she told Progressive Insurance, um, she told them how to actually um, – win the case and to get the case dismissed right on the record in front of me while we were mm-hmm. actually in court. Mm-hmm. So I called her out, tried to get her to recuse herself. She had a recusal hearing, and she said, well, she doesn't see anything at fault. So she became her own judge and her own jury. But she got off the case, and before I can go to trial, Progressive wanted to settle with me. I really could have took them to the ringer. They only settled with me for about 13000 but I I could have gotten way more because I had them in default for a million dollars because I I filed the lawsuit they didn't respond until six months later and they said it's so let me ask you did they pay the thirteen thousand yes they did okay. that's they a did. shock I'm shocked that they paid yeah. it I'm shocked oh, I'm yes. shocked because they they're so broke and busted and disgusted they don't yes. normally give anything because oh, yes. I'm shocked. And I could and I could have gotten way more, but because I'm dealing oh, yeah. with my daughter's case, and I had them in default for a million dollars. Literally, they don't have a million to give you. They mm-hmm. they knew that they don't have a million to give you. They don't have it. Mm-hmm. So well, now let's uh let's 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 uh let's talk. Let's focus on remedies. You've actually been providing your own remedy. You've been doing it. You've been the judge in the process based on what I'm hearing you say. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So here's the thing. This is, this is the, 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 the part that's sticking out the, the, the most for me is mm-hmm. this. Keep doing what you're doing, but change the energy because you're not at war with them. They are mm-hmm. subject to you, and they've proven that, and you've proven that. Mm-hmm. You, you'll you be a lot less tired mm-hmm. when you know that you're not at war with them. They're subject. Right. That's like saying you're at war with a, with, a, with a dog that's in your house, and I'm not calling them people dogs, but what I'm saying I'm, to make the point is mm-hmm. if, 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 that's, if that's your dog and you tell the dog to sit and the dog don't sit, you can get rid of the dog. Right. Okay. Right. So, so there's no reason to think that you're at war with the dog. Mm-hmm. You're not at war with the dog. Okay, mm-hmm. and and by the same token, let's bring it back to to persons. They, those are persons. You're not at war with persons. Every office that they were exercising is your office. Mm-hmm. That office is subject to you because we're the ones who put those offices in place. So mm-hmm. so there's just a couple of things that I would that I would state to you about what's happening, aside from the fact that. Just know that you're not at war because when you know that you're not at war and they're subject to you, 
if you keep that, if you absorb that as you absorb that in your spirit, Mm -hmm. things are going to get so much easier Mm -hmm. because it's not a war. They don't have anything to fight with because they're not sovereign. You're Mm -hmm. sovereign. Your daughter is sovereign. Mm -hmm. And even though she has not declared her nationality, the, the, this whole matter starts with you because you're the matriarch. Mm-hmm. So you've declared your nationality. you put some things on the public record. Now let me tell you what else you can do. There's two other things that, are, that the ancestors are, are bringing to us about what, you're, what you said. here. The first thing is this. Never, ever, 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 ever again call them judges and police and court, they're not that. Mm-hmm. That's not who that is. Because mm-hmm. if that's who that was, then your daughter wouldn't be in jail and everything would be fine because they would be real judges doing real things. Okay? Mm-hmm. Those are not real judges. You're the real judge. Your daughter's the real judge too. She just doesn't know it yet. Mm-hmm. This bloodline and birthright makes us the Lord for the land. Mm-hmm. So Never, ever, ever, and and let me just give you a little bit of background about that. For example, normally those persons, when they get ready to go into their, what they were calling a courtroom, they would put their hand on a Bible and take their oath, right? Mm -hmm. Well, for us in the Bible, All we have to do is look there in the Bible, and and right here in verses 20, uh, in Job, the 32nd chapter, of course, it's verse 22 is what I'm telling you. It says, if you flatter them with a title, if you call them a judge and you flatter them with that title, then they can do whatever they want with you and your daughter because you've given them a title. That's called delegation of authority. And you're never going to delegate your authority to them. Mm -hmm. They're foreign. They're not even from here. Mm -hmm. Okay? So never again. And just it it takes practice because we've been, been, we were previously programmed in the last enactment, in that last era, to, to, to thinking that they were judges and they're this and they're that. They're none of that. And they know that they're none of that. Okay? So uh, it, it says here in, uh, oh. in verse 22, uh, verse 21 and 22, I will show no partial, partiality, nor will I flatter anyone. For if I were skilled in flattery, my maker would soon take me away. Whoever you say is a judge, you've made them the judge over you. And they're mm-hmm. never, they've never been that. They've never been that. Um. That's the that's the first thing that I wanted to to really really uh, put into the forefront of your spirit, because they're only the only reason they were doing any of the things that they were doing is because the Moors kept giving them energy and power by mm-hmm. by by giving them titles and giving them. <sighs> And see, it's it's even against the Constitution to give them a title. Mm-hmm. The Constitution says no titles of no no state can give a title of nobility. That means we're the state. We can't give them a title of nobility. They know that. Mm-hmm. And so um, that's first in the Biblios not to do it. Secondly, it's in the uh, and first first it's in the Constitution not to do it, not to give them a title. So that's a a law for us to give them a title. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next, the next thing that the ancestors are saying about about everything that 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 you stated, aside from the fact that that you're to be honored for doing what you've been doing because you've been standing, you're to be honored for that. Mm -hmm. And continue to stand. Continue to be honored for that. Aside from 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 what from that what they're stating also in terms of what to do, um, are you familiar with the lean process? 
I've actually um I've looked into it and I think I've I've watched a video, I believe mm-hmm. it's you kind of going through some of it. Mm-hmm. Um I'm not because I've never done it before, but I've been mm-hmm. studying Get over it, sweetheart. Your daughter's where she belongs. Get over it. Go ahead. And not lean properly. So I've been just trying to study because I want to make sure that I'm leaning properly. Okay. Thank you for that. And we we are... Uh, we're, Can we're, I say something on the matter, um, uh, Empress? D- okay, j- just one moment, Justice Will- Yes, you can. Just just one moment, Justice Willie. Uh, okay. About the lean process, we have several. We ha- underneath our videos, we have samples and examples of lean that we've done. Uh, okay. We would just suggest that you copy those examples and and do them. Copy it and then put. And then copy and paste all the names of those that you put in your lawsuit. Copy and paste their names into a lien. The lawsuits that you've done are going to have to be restated because they've been placed in the in the wrong venue. Paul, but it doesn't to- work. It ain't gonna work for you either, honey. Um, Paul, shit. Very. <laughs> they wouldn't be here like that if it didn't work. <laughs> right. <laughs> so so um, Empress. Here's what we would state to do. All of the lawsuits that you've done, this is our suggestion. Uh, There's some court action language that we use. And I'm going to put that court action language on the screen so that you can see it. We would ask and suggest, highly suggest, that all the lawsuits that you've done, that you've put in, Mm-hmm. Whenever you're doing anything, put this court action language at the top of your paperwork. Okay. Okay. No matter what the paperwork is, um, put, can you see it on the screen? Let me make sure it's on the screen. Yes, yes I can. Okay. Screenshot it. Yep. Okay. Take this language right here and put it at the top of every document that you that you demonstrate every one of them and where it says pauline denise ritchie put your sovereign holy appellation there um and then do whatever it is you're doing because see everything that you're doing is correct you're doing everything right it just Mm -hmm. has to be in the proper court this is going to put it in the proper court where you're the judge okay and then just keep going with whatever it is you're doing because you've been demonstrating powerfully and beautifully. Use this at the top and put it in red ink if you can. Put it in red ink at the top and then sit and then and, and let that be let that accompany any paperwork that you send. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because right now I'm in the beginning process with those twenty eight defendants. I got to serve them this summons and the complaint. And one of the defendants is Walmart because where that happened to my daughter, it happened in Walmart. So um, Walmart's uh, CEO, CEO, and uh, actually, uh, that, that actually, actually the, the CEO for Walmart is you and us, yeah. all of us. We've yeah. already leaned, leaned that, that the thing that was previously pretending to be the head. We're the head of all of that. Mm-hmm. On the record, we're the head. But see, they've known that all corporations, in their initial paperwork, they agree to obey the Constitution. Mm-hmm. And we wrote the Constitution that they agreed to obey. So that makes us the CEO, Islam. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, uh, Justice Willie was going to add something to some of the. Right, yeah. right. Um, Grand Rising, everyone. It has uh, been a while since I've been here. Now, um, there's a reason why I'm here this evening because I've been here for a while. Um, I have been studying law a lot, especially common law. I've been teaching it. Now mm-hmm. I hold Saturday classes, I hold master classes. I've been getting a lot of um, people coming to me with cases. 
and situation that I have not even been in, but I always find a solution. Um, I want to say to this, uh, as a matter of fact, before I even go into her situation, just, just this week alone, uh, uh, the 24th, I was um, arrested at the border and what for? I put up the, t the, the, the tape there. You can access it on my um, Google channel. And um, the gentleman was asking me too many questions. Where are you coming from? And I tell him, I'm coming from a place named Webster. Uh, where is Webster? It's in the States. Where is, where, in, where in the States? I said, listen, that's too much. That's too much. Please. I'm not a child. So you don't need to be um, answering me, asking me these questions. I need to go home. Man, he was offended, and so now he wanted to spite me. So what the gentleman do was to the officer, the border officer did, was to give me a yellow piece of paper. I said, okay, now you're spiting me because I dare to speak to you, right? Oh no, we want to check out your car. I said, let me tell you something. You will not be entering in my car without a warrant, and you have to um, give me articulate what crime you think I'm guilty of. Because if you dare touch my car without a warrant, I'm going to be suing you. Well, he called his supervisor. The supervisor came and he ordered me out of the car. And I said, well, um, are you giving me an order? Because I know in my, the back of my head, when you give an order at McDonald's, you've got to pay for your order. So I let him order me. I say, <laughs> and I make sure I'm catching it on the camera. Did, are you ordering me, sir, out of my car, Sergeant? Yes, I'm ordering. If you don't come out, I'm going to rip you out of the car. Oh, my gosh. I got it on camera. And I said, okay, sir, I'm going to fill your order. I'm coming out. And I got out. He put my hand back behind me, carried me on and uncuffed me, pulling me, manhandling. I said, why are you manhandling me? I'm peaceful, dude. I'm not even resisting. I know not to resist you guys. And so he took me in a room. And when he took me in the room, he started, I asked, I said, let me tell you something. You know you're going to be sued, right? Because I have not broken any law. I merely, I merely asked the guy, why are you asking so many questions? And you're violating my right to speech. So I said to him, um, so he, he went and he, he got something out of his pocket. This guy didn't even read me my Miranda right up front when he's going to arrest me. That's first offense there. He is he's right away that's a lawsuit. Anyway, um, so he took me in this cubby hole with my hand behind him. I said, I have a back problem. You got to release these things and take them off me. So he took off his bangers off my hand. And I, um, he came with his pocketbook. And I said, read, tell me the law that I broke. Oh, you're, you're, you're guilty of hindering. I said, oh, where in the book is hindering a crime? Uh, it's an act. Oh, uh, you're actors. I'm not an actor. I'm not a part of your script. So you got to let me go or you're going to be sued and I'm going to make you lose your job. Uh, and then when he read his script, he said, do you understand? I said, me? No, 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 no. I don't understand. Because when you say you understand, you're saying I am standing under you, sir. So I said, no, no, I don't understand nothing what you're saying. So he went outside. He's becoming pink or pale. And he, he, he consulted, what, how do you hang a, a guy like me who seemed to know something or two, right? And um, he came back, and now he's reading me my Miranda, right? <laughs> I said, like, um, and then he asked me, do you understand that anything you say from now on will be held against you? I said, nope, don't understand nothing you're saying. All I know, you need to let me go home. Because you're holding me illegally for an act, an act is not a crime. You are committing a crime, holding me um, unlawful search and seizure and unlawful arrest. So he went back to consult. Then they asked me, do you have food? How oh, long you eat? You want water? I said, I'll take some water out of my car. He, he brought some water in a cup. I threw them in the toilet at the same time. And I didn't drink the water from him. And I said, you know something? You guys are going to be in big trouble. I charge $200,000 for an illegal, if you let me spend one night in this jail, I am, it's a $200 lawsuit. So I hope you're prepared for that. How did you get $200,000? I got a fee schedule. Okay. Now this guy, you know, he diggle-daggle around, not knowing what to do next uh, with me. 
Then he's asking me, um, you know, I can provide, uh, you need to call your lawyer. I said, no, thank you. Oh, if you don't have a lawyer, we can let you get one. No, thank you. Uh, all right. He goes again and he comes back in. All right. What about you? You can talk to your government official. I said, no, thank you. Let me out of this place or you're going to be in big trouble. And then I started talking to the, 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 the there has a camera in there. And, they are say, and I said, you guys are in big trouble because you have violated so much of my constitutional right. My, viol my, my freedom of speech, my right to travel, my security of the person, unlawful arrest, search and seizure. You guys are breaking the law. For what crime? Hindering. It's not in the books. Hindering is not a crime. That's your act. So point is, people, and then in, in, in a couple, about two hours, he released me and said, oh, you're released conditionally. I said, I need your name and badge number when you gave him back my passport and, and, and his big piece of paper Say, I, 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 I don't know what was written on it. I said, give me your name and badge number, write it on the paper that you've given me. And he took back the paper with my passport again. <laughs> and he, he came back with a little book leaf piece of paper with his name and badge number for both of them. And I wonder where the paper with the uh, uh, disappeared to and he took it back and i have uh sent them um so, so the point I, I what i need what, what i need to say to my lady here first of all we must understand words are important words are important you have the written word spoken word the word made flesh do not depend on a document you are sovereign in your very being your flesh is sovereign so you speak it. I did not show them no more document, my more ID. Uh, um, I didn't show them that. I you have to be it, walk it, talk it. You are it without any form of document. That's where it begins in our speaking, and we speak the word. That's why we have the spoken word. No document. I spoke the word. Yeah. And I, I did not have any document to give them except my ID from the Moors here in Canada. And I, I did not even show them that. But they had to release me because I knew what to do. The, what I'm saying to you, my lady, number one, don't call them your kids. If you have any document there and call them your kid or your children, get rid of it. Take it, cross it out, put my property. They are your property. The government exists to protect life and property. When you go there, tell them you want your property. It's you brought those property in the world, and you want back your property. That's what you should do, and demand them to give you their property. Next one, I hear you talking about lawsuit. Yeah. Lawsuit is a joke. Do not sue these people. Do not go to their courts because they play voodoo on you in the court. I'm telling you, I just had it Friday. I have a case, and I, 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 I decided I'm not going to speak in their jurisdiction and give them jurisdiction. And so I wrote. They disregarded it. I sent instruction to the judge and said, this is how I want you to operate. She ignored everything and was going to allow the lawyer to run me over like a freight train. And I said, I'm not going to speak in your court. I will give you jurisdiction. So therefore, I am writing. And I did send you the instruction. She, they don't read it because they cannot read these things. They cannot read them because they're not there to protect constitution. They're admiralty law. They're there to the bankers to make some money. So do not sue them. And so um, what you can do is I also inquired at the court just this week, and I realized from my research, you can have your own court. The, the court that they have, it's a public building. You can go to the senior person, the supervisor at the building, rent, take that, tell them you want a room to conduct your court, summon some of your friends and, 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 and people, whoever you know, even online now they're doing it. Get some of us here, 60 of us are here, and have court on these people. Send, summon them to come to the court and have an online and hold them in default. Then you put on your lead. So do, do not talk about you're going to be suing these people because I realize it's a joke. Okay? It's a joke. Is there anything else I've left out? I want to just share those with you and never call your children, as I say, um, your proper, um, your, your, your anything except your offspring and your property, especially when you're in court. 
it's your property. So go and erase all of that, that, that and redo your documents and call them your property and tell the government they, that, uh, that's why they exist and you want those property that they're holding for you. They have to turn them over. If not, your whole court and them get every name who can release those those properties of yours, those offerings of yours, get every name who's involved and summon them to court. I yield. Justice Willie, uh, thank you for that. You sound uh, quite enthused. Uh, apparently, you've been through something recently. I this, have. This I week, have. Apparently, apparently, that's 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 very clear. Uh, you're stating what we've been stating all along: is we're the court. Yes, we are. We have always been the court. Always been the court. We don't call them judges because they're not judges and they know it. Now, let me say this, too, about even about what you stated. First of all, you, you, you mentioned something about them asking questions. Well, from, from what we've been stating here the whole time, this Congress knows, and we've all stated this many, many times, the one who's asking the questions is actually conducting a court action on you. The one asking the questions is acting as the king. So that's why, the, that's why they do the whole question thing. Acting. They're acting, so you have to be the real. The real. <laughs> All and, right. and, and that's what, that's, that's what we've been stating to the Moors this whole time. So in this court action language and the things that we state, uh, we begin with questions. What is your name is the first question we ask. If they have a name, they're a subject. We have appellations. So these are, these are principles that we've been talking about this whole time, and we've not just been talking about them, we've been <coughs> demonstrating them. Uh, next, you said something about understanding. Well, you're correct. We don't understand, but we also don't understand the, the dead language that they speak. We speak ancient English. They've been speaking uh, dead English the whole time. Just one moment. Give me just a second. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, I'm hearing okay. you loud and clear. Yes. So uh, I, I want to uh, actually get back to the Empress, uh, Empress uh, Shanquel. Empress Shanquel, are you still with us here? Yes. Wow. Okay. Uh, as you can hear, you know, people are going through things, and we've offered the principles here. And he, what Justice Willie said is exactly in alignment with the principles. We don't use their paperwork. We we always restate our own paperwork. Uh, we tend to meet people where they are in terms of the knowledge that they have and the time span that they feel they have and, and they have things going on. This is why we stated to put this language at the top of your paperwork. Any paperwork have this language at the top of it. Because that, that language right there automatically makes everything yours. It means that you're the judge, you're the justice, you're the, you're the one who's in charge of whatever's going on. Now, with Justice Willie, Justice Willie, when you said that you gave them instructions on how to conduct the court, they can't do it. You must do it. You showed them that you know how to be a judge, okay? You showed mm -hmm. them that by, by giving them instructions. Mm -hmm. All they're saying when they ignore that is, well, he knows how to be a judge. I don't know why he's not doing it. Be the judge. Do the things that you do for them to do. Yes, that's true. Yes? So yes. you're competent, Justice Willie. You just have to not just say it, do it. That is true. That is so true. That is so true. But you see, we have been so shaped into going to them to do this and to do that. Like right now, I have discovered a piece, a massive piece of land, and I have taken possession of it. And I am going to them to get their paperwork uh, because, you know, if I'm going to be selling it, people are going to go and say, oh, where's the title? 
Oh, uh, but uh, this title, like, uh, it don't look like theirs, and that is the mistake. I agree we're making. You know, before I close, I want to say this too. There are two, t I heard of a guy said it, and I love it, and I want to share it. Maybe most of you are hearing it. There are two types of terrorism in this world. The terrorism with the guns and the terrorism with the paper. We have to learn, as you say, Empress, we have to now learn how to fight back with the paper with the paper. We don't fight with the guns. We are peaceful people. So we learn how to use our paper on them. Because I remember one of the lawyers wrote me some time ago, and he's off the case. He doesn't write. He, he's, he, they, they, they to, the guy had to get a new lawyer. And when, I give, when I'm going to give this girl, when, when she sees this paper coming at her Monday morning, she's going to piss up herself. Because I'm going, to be, I'm going to be sending some paper to her with the most appropriate, with the most appropriate people. If you have not been studying that document, you need to study that document. Because there's so much power that in that document, my gosh, I, I wish I had the time, but it's your program. I'm just saying, people, I have my Saturday class. Do you want to come and join? Come. But you will learn so much because there is power in that document. For uh, the, the Pope, who was the taker of the, the, the whole land and here and sea, says, give back the indigenous people their land. Shut down the courthouse. Police and soldiers, stop doing the thing that we've been doing again. Stop practicing the fraud. It's time for us to close our doors. What more do we want? All we've got to do is serve these people who have not heard it yet, that they're hiding it from, and say, hey, did you read the motu proprio? Here's a copy of it. Here's a, we can't even give them the entire thing. Just give them the major, the, the juice out of it, that they're supposed to be shut down, which they are shutting down, but they're going too slow. Some of them are still milking, milking, milking the system. Okay, okay. so Justice Willie, the only reason that those ones are still doing what they're doing is because is because mores are showing up there, and not being the court themselves. Yes. See, they, they, they will stop. They will stop all of their activity when the because see nature abhors a vacuum. There can't be a empty space there. The courts must be active. The commerce must be active. It must be real money. The courts are backed by real money. All of that. So. That's why we're doing the things that we're doing is because we know that all of that acting stops when the real shows up. You're the real, Justice Willie. Uh, Empress Chantel, you're the real. You all are doing the things that need to be done. It's just a matter of restating all the paperwork. Justice Willie, you talked about land. Listen, when you saying you have to go to them for title and stuff, no, you don't. You look, this is, this is what you do. You look at the title that they issue or the deed, because they can't issue a title. You look at the deed that they issue and you restate the deed. This is, we've been showing more how to restate the documents. The system will honor your restatement because your restatement is going to look a lot like the deed they issue. Go on to Google and, and, say, and say, show an example of a deed. And then you restate that deed. How do you restate a deed? We could, we could, show, you, we could show you that. We'll show in, in just a moment how to restate anything. That's all we've been doing is showing more how to restate the paperwork so that the system honors it, but they don't have jurisdiction over it. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Listen, restating documents is as simple as putting a document Scanning whatever they gave you, scan it in to your computer, and then begin to put it on the holy altar mm -hmm. and start altering it. Mm -hmm. Change the things that, 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 that are not saying that you're the head. Okay? Mm -hmm. put it, and then add color to it. Put red, because all their documents are black and white. Mm -hmm. So you put red, and you put, we do ours in red or blue because we know what those colors mean, or purple for some mm -hmm. Royalty. Okay. But, 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 but purple is still royal subjects, and we're not royal subjects. We're the, we're the nobility, which is, higher than, which is the highest. That's why we do it in either red or blue. And when you restate the documents in red or blue, they don't have jurisdiction over them because they didn't create them. Because the minute you 
Print it out. The minute you print it out, it's your creation. Mm -hmm. The minute you start altering it, it's your creation. It's not theirs anymore because the, copy, the copyright is done away with. Mm -hmm. You see? And they, they, they won't be able to say it's fraud because it's your creation from, from start to finish. What we do, I'll, I'll just give you an example of, a, I'll, I'll, do, I'll recreate a document really quickly. Uh, because awesome. I, I, we do so many uh, documents, we recre recreate so many documents. We and and it's it's we we have the power to create and to state what what's what. Uh, I'll just pick a document. Let's say a um what one of the documents that Wait, I recreated. Islam and would, would the would the lean documents be uh, considered something that was restated? The lean documents? you can restate you can restate the lean documents. You can you can do that. Um, I'll show you. A, let's 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 show a copy of a restated lean. Uh, let me just not wait a minute. Just one moment. And do you while you're doing that? Do you suggest that you have created it? Let's say you. You have your land title. You now take it over as ownership. Do you send in a copy to them? Yes, that, that's okay. notification. They must be okay. notified because they're subject to you. They, they're they subject. They have to be notified. Okay. Because, see, really, they're subjects in your office. Just that's a moment. Correct. I know it's saying meeting pause. The meeting is not paused. Just a moment. Let me go back up here. Just a moment. Take your time. <laughs> okay. Um, I was trying to do it without showing my, showing my files. Let me just a moment. Okay. Um, let me show really quickly uh, the a, a document that I restated recently. <laughs> uh, so more. Um, let me see. I was going to show a lien, wage lien, but let, let me show let me show this one because it's a lien too. Um, this is is what we call our a. This would be a corporate lien. Just one moment. Let's see. Lean. So when you do the lien and then you do the levy, who carried out the, 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 the order to execute? The system does that. We, we, we state the order, but the system will respond to the documentation. So when we send it, they recognize the paperwork and they just do what it says. They know okay. they don't have authority over it because it's, it's autographed by us. So okay. it's, it's the same thing as if, let's say, an uh, a, a Indian tribe did send some paperwork to a court. They would know mm -hmm. it's from the Indian tribe, but they would know that, that, that there are some authorities that they don't necessarily have over that mm -hmm. paperwork, but they mm -hmm. still have to put whatever they can in the system. Okay, mm. with us, it's, to it's, it's like that, but very different because we have full authority over everything that happens. So when, when we restate the, the, the paperwork, let me, let me just pull this one up, uh, Washington licensing. Which is what sovereignty is really, and when you're self-govern, yes. uh, you cannot be asking another man um, for no, his no. things. Uh, yeah, no. that doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't make that's sense. That's not self-governing. That's mom. Okay. That's dependent syndrome, same way. Yeah, uh, that never made sense to us from the beginning. And then when the ancestors started telling us to restate all the documentation, some felt like it's not necessary to do that, but it actually is because that that means that you're governing the way you should. Government is paperwork. Think about all the. That's why they're called an administration because it's paperwork. It's a lot of paperwork. But it's worth it because you are, are showing competence. Just a moment. Let me pull that's, up this. Oh, thing. my gosh. That's so much. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and you suggest putting all your emblems, like the flags and stuff. Yeah. Uh, yes. Oh, okay. So this is, the, this is where all of that separates. You first, your flags and everything go on your Moorish government letterhead. 
But then, then with that, you send, you do what we're, what I'm about to show you right here. Okay. Uh, Let me just show you w- what we did. We've done this recently where uh, conveyance is concerned and more is out. This, this was on our list to show you um, for today as well. Let me just take a look. Uh, either today or in the coming weeks, we were going to show it, but we had to demonstrate it ourselves first. Um, so here's one right here. This is is one of their forms. This is Washington State <laughs> Department of Licensing Affidavit of Loss Release of Interest. So this form is used when when someone uh, when when let's say a lender when someone has paid off their conveyance, the lender will say, okay, we'll sign this saying, we don't have any further interest in, in this, in, in this uh, vehicle because it's been paid off. Or if you bring the title, you can fill one of these out and put the title to the instrument, to, to the conveyance with it. Well, we don't fill out their forms, but what we did do was restate the form. Okay, um, just one moment. Let me put this on on active view here. So let us show you how we restated this. You see how this form looks? It's black and white. It's it's you know all of this stuff right here. Mm-hmm. So what did we do? We restated it. We we gave color to see when you when you change the logo you've already ruined the trademark even though we have a, a, a superior lien on the trademark and patent office the u dot s dot trademark so that's that that thing is no more. Um, what we do is put color into the document we 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 title it what we want it to be titled. So on the old one it was affidavit of law slash release of interest. Well, there's no loss on our part, but we are releasing the interest that whoever it was that was claiming interest in the in the document, in the uh, vehicle. So we put the information in there. There's no loss. So we, we, don't need, we didn't need to do anything with that part. And then release of interest, we have the authority to cut Mercedes-Benz out because we're Mercedes-Benz, not them. Mercedes-Benz of Tacoma is a debtor tenant in abandonment. That means they, they, while they owe, they abandon the land. Why? Because we told them to leave. We're talking about our land here. All interest claimed by debtor tenant Mercedes-Benz of Tacoma is hereby released due to debtor's abandonment. Full authority to release all interest from United States property is vested in the fiduciary attorney with facts as stated. And then all of us are attorneys with facts for our creditor United States, not the debtor one. We created a creditor United States. That creditor uses gold and silver, which we've begun taking that in also. And those who, who've seen who know about our federal driver license program, you already know that people have been sending in gold and silver and we've been issuing driver's license and those driver's license have been honored. People have rented cars with it, uh, gone on to quote unquote military bases and things of that nature using our driver's license. So this is restating a document. Now, Justice Willie and Empress Shankel, when you restate the documents like this, the system will honor the document, but those that were previously pretending to claim jurisdiction over the document won't have it, and they will know they don't have it because they didn't create this document. They created this one. That's theirs. That's why we don't fill out their paperwork. We don't have to. We restate the paperwork. Now. When we restate the paperwork, we always, always, always send our flags and fiduciary document with it. Let me show you what our fiduciary document looks like. Okay. Uh, Let's see. Let me 
me just pull that up really quickly. This Justice Willie is where our flags and everything come in at with these documents that we've restated. When we, okay. when we, uh, so what we do is we never send any restated forms without our, just a moment, without our affidavit, at least one affidavit on eight and a half by 14 paperwork going with it in order to anchor that document to the land. Because, see, we were so busy sending documents in our sleep, they weren't anchored to anything. Oh. They must be moored to the land. Mooring is, is a sea term. It's also mm -hmm. our nationality. Mm -hmm. So we send this document that states that we are the fiduciary, trust or trustee, attorney with facts, we're the truth, we're the law. Huh? Oh, uh, just one moment. Thank you, Noble Phoenix. Let me... This technology really needs to catch up with us because we be moving. Um, this, is, this is where our flags and, and everything comes into play, okay? Mm -hmm. All of our flags, this, this flag right here that you see is the real banner for Amity and Commerce, but of course they flipped it and hypothecated, subrogated, and, and corrupted it. But when, but when you look back at the old ancient documents, we were the first states united. We were always the states united. So we put our flags and seals and our government stamps and everything on there. We put, this is where the L and the Bay comes in at. Pauline Denise Lawhorn, Emmanuel L. Richie Moore, that is my true sovereign appellation. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is my mother's maiden name. This is my grandmother is Emmanuel. Uh, and then uh, Wiley is not there and Lassick is not there. Those two I just found out. So in the future, I'll be adding Wiley and Lassick to mine. But here is the that court action language that Empress Shankel, we told you about the court action language. Put that at the top of all documents. Okay. And then we we state in this document the most important part, uh, Justice Willie, is yeah. that no matter what letters, what numbers, because see, it was the letters and the numbers that they were claiming. They were claiming, that's why on their forms, they use their letters and their numbers. Mm -hmm. okay? We have our own letters and numbers. They look the same, but we must properly proclaim that we're the fiduciary for everything we write, all contracts, everything. Mm -hmm. so, so, so when we do that, and when we say on, and this is written in ancient English because that's our, that is our national language, what we didn't realize is we've been speaking ancient English to match our ancient bloodline the whole time. That's why we say we do not understand what they're saying. We don't understand dead English. We speak living English. And so ancient English is however you choose to spell it. As you're writing your documents, your, your affidavits, we use ancient English on our affidavits. However your ancestors, your spirit says to, to spell the, the words, you just spell it that way. It's going to come from your spirit, so it's going to be right no matter how you spell it. Yours doesn't have to be spelled like mine. Mine doesn't have to be spelled like yours. Because that's um, going to... So, mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm sorry, question then. Um, a thought just hit me. Since um, we are all Moors, identify as Moors, yes. I'm in Canada, you're in the United States. We don't have good leadership here because even during my lockup and, you know, it's the Maroons who are calling me like crazy and they even want to recruit me into their thing because we don't have the support here. And I was so disappointed in the Moors. There's, we're just not united in Canada. But the point is, though, uh, is it possible that, like, you have a template of a land ownership, of a car ownership, yeah. of a whatever, yeah. and then uh, you have it on a website, because um, it may be a bit tedious for me to go design something. I could go download it and modify it as a more, because you're a more. Is that possible? 
Yes, that's possible. Let me say this, though. You already have all of that in your possession. All you have to do is modify what you have. Mm -hmm. Let me show you what that looks like. Let me show you what that looks like. I'll just use this because this is the one I used initially anyway. On the screen, this is how I did this. I took, let me just show you how simple it is to alter, to restate, because, and that's why you send the affidavit with it, because you're saying you're not, you're not altering anything they have a patent or trademark on. You're doing it yourself from your own nation, okay? So whenever I wanted to change anything on here, I would just take this, ti this title off, because that's the wrong title anyway, and then I would put affidavit for release for interest release. Or I could have said release of interest because that's what I'm doing here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any, any time that you would have taken to restate my documents, you can restate your own. You have them yeah. right there with you. You already have deeds and titles and, and, and anyone who doesn't have that, you can go online just like I did, pull it off and then and restate it. And now I've given this a title. And because I gave it a title, it's now mine. And so I can remove any other thing. I remove this right here and put what I want to put on it. Is that word you're using? Is that the word? Uh-uh. This is not word. This is um and this is not a program that I bought. This is whenever I pull up a PDF, and most of you have this on your computer. Whenever you pull up a PDF, up at the top, there will be some icons where you can, you can change it. No. So whenever you pull up any PDF, you can alter it. No. Okay. So in order to erase things, I, I put white paint on here, and then I just, I just take it off. I do away with that. And then, <laughs> okay. Uh, and then when I want to add color, like I added color to this, the, to the logo, because again, this is our logo. This is not theirs. They don't have a. They don't. They don't own anything. They didn't come here with a logo, did they? They didn't come here with an office for driving, or anything <laughs> of that nature. So mm -hmm. then, I actually took the time to just put a little red in here, you know. And by the time I got through redoing the document, which it didn't take me long at all, a release of interest. And then once once I got finished with all of that, what I ultimately ended up doing with my document is since I didn't need this part right here, because this is all they did when they came here to, to invent anything. They just took our documents and put them in black. I just took all of this out right here because I didn't need it, and there was no confusion or anything on oh, my part. Wow. I took that out, and I left this part in, release of interest. And then I, I took this out, and I, and I autographed it, printed it out, and autographed it. That's how you restate a document, okay? Documents can be restated in any program. You can copy and paste. I've had to do that too, copy and paste it into Word. So like this is what I've done. If, I, if there was something going on and I needed and, and things were maybe misbehaving or something, the system wasn't doing right, I would take this part right here, get a screen capture, copy it, go to Word or WordPad. I don't even have Word. I have WordPad paste it in here, and then do whatever I'm going to do with it. Or I can change it from, from where I clipped it. When I clip it, I can put different colors. Like, uh, you know, if I wanted to put something else on here, I could put colors on here. Or I can edit my clippings in Paint 3D and add words to it and add other things to it, you know. Ultimately, uh, just, uh, in, Justice Sean Kell and Justice Willie, ultimately, in the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. 
Though it's the words and who controls those words that determines what happens with the paperwork and whoever it is that's claiming the paperwork. So what I did also, again, let me just see if I can get this to show. My clippings, I clip them and, it, and, and then I just edit them in, in Paint 3D. Here I can put words up here, you know, whatever words I want to put up at the top, I can put those words and change the colors and things of that nature. It's worth taking the time to do it because, again, you, you never risk things like going to jail and things of that nature. You don't risk that stuff when you change your own documentation, when you send your own documentation, you know. So uh, I'm not going to save that one, but, but I'm just showing you how we restate documents. Okay, so the documents that you have in your possession, Justice Willie, you just, just, you got them in there. If they're in your computer in electronic form in any way, mm -hmm. you can restate them already. You can mm -hmm. start altering them already. See, when people, when in, in the spirit realm, whenever you would go to, to a church and you would come to the altar and then when they lay hands on you, you're changed and you're a different person. Mm -hmm. that's, the, that's the ritual that they were doing to, uh, to demonstrate the altering of documents, changing the nature. Just by putting your hand on the document and changing it, you've changed the nature. Now, you, now your documents have the nature of Christ and not the nature of colonial mercenaries and the dead, you see. Your hand is just your words. What you said about stating things, you talked earlier about you didn't need paperwork and, and all of that. Listen, that's the first step. To, in order for the paperwork to manifest properly, the first step is knowing how to demonstrate who you are from your spirit and your soul. Because as above, so below. See, we the paperwork is for the below. The spirit realm and what you know is for the above. We've had to do that also where for 10 days we did court actions. We did court actions. We were not going to anybody's court. We were in a cell court, doing court for the whole 10 days. All we did was court. Everybody who came to that window got a court action. What is your name? Do you understand that no United States Corporation company citizen nor their agents, principals, heirs assigned, do you understand that? And they every time said yes, except maybe once or twice. And the once or twice, they wouldn't say nothing. Nobody ever said, no, I don't get that. No, I don't get that. They all got it. But we didn't, and we didn't have any paperwork then. So then what we did was we spoke it out of our spirit. Once we demonstrate to our ancient ancestors within us that we know who we are, then we begin to claim the land. That's what this is all about, is the word is first in you. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee, thee being us, each other. Once you know the word on the inside and you can demonstrate it from out of your mouth and speak it, because, see, that's how the worlds were created. God, which is all of us, spoke the word first, spoke it first, then came and wrote it and gave it to Moses. But it had to be spoken out of the spirit first. So when you say about paperwork and paperwork, Paperwork is necessary if you're going to have conveyances and domiciles and things of that nature. You're going to have to have some paperwork because that's how that dimension is manifested. However, you must have the spirit realm in there first. And the spirit realm goes with all your paperwork. And the spirit realm is not war energy. It's peace energy. No, peace. Well, I was just saying that. Um, you, um, no, I'm no, I don't know. I'm not accusing you of war. I'm, I'm saying that for the benefit of everyone listening. Right. I was just saying, okay, it's like, let's say you have a gun. If you don't have the bullet, it, the gun doesn't mean anything. 
So yeah. everything go hand in and work together. So your spirit speaking it, being it, you yeah. walk it, talk it, live it, eat it, you know, speak it, whatever, and yeah. you have your back documents to back it up. Yeah. And so you you become the spoken word, the yeah. written word, and the word made flesh. You yeah. are. Yes. Yeah. The word became flesh. Yes. Yeah. And that becoming flesh is the is that paperwork part also. The word is in the spirit first and then it's made flesh. The word is made flesh. That's what competent documentation that originates with you is that's that's what makes it so powerful. Is it started with you? So and you gave it a name, just like in the beginning, you give you give the paperwork a name. You you title you put the title on your paperwork. No one else does that. We don't accept their titles. We we give our own titles, you know, to the documentation and to the paperwork. As that, a matter of fact, I would go a step further. Not that not title. Remember, title is a replica of the real. So we need the ownership. So if you own your land. You need the land ownership, not the title, because title, that means the real thing is somewhere hidden. Because your car title, the government has the real thing, the, 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 the manufacturer's certificate of origin, MSO, MCO. So we need the original, which is the, the ownership. That is what matters, not the title. It's a replica of what is there. It's a shadow of the real. Okay. So let me let me let me uh add a little clarity to what you're stating. Because see, we gotta look at the constitution when we talk about title. There's a reason why the nobility clause, that's what that's called, the nobility clause. That's the place where titles are are spoken about in the Constitution. The title is everything. What what has been being given is deeds. So they don't have titles, not even the ones that you keep calling the government because they ain't the government. That's not the government, Justice Willie. <laughs> They're not the government. You are. We are. We create the titles. That's how come nobody at earth has ever been given a title to the land, to a house, to a car. They don't give you titles. They give you deeds and certificates. Why? Because they already know who the real title is owners and holders are us but but you but see we create the title remember what they what they do on these their deeds and their title that they give to you they, they say you are the tenant you are the tenant and the the, the land and that's, that's why they charge you taxes title. that's what that means it's not a title or real title that they're giving it's a deed it's a deed it's not a real title that they're giving. If it was a real title, then the title holder, whoever it was, they could have created title for themselves, and they wouldn't have given you anything. They'd have created it for themselves and not given you anything. They gave a deed because they can't give a title. We create the title, and when we create the title on Morris government letterhead, with our flags and things there. And then we restate any form. We can restate a deed in a heartbeat. We can restate any mortgage paperwork. We can turn a mortgage paperwork into a deed by restating everything. We, that we, in fact, we must do that. We must. We don't have a choice in that matter to use their paperwork because their paperwork does not give anything. Justice Willie, you just you just proved that. That their paperwork can't give you anything. It doesn't give you anything. Because they don't have anything to give. We have to create the real paperwork. And that's what restating these documents is all about. They can't release interest. They don't have any interest in what we're doing. We use real money. They don't. But if you want the system to reflect what you're stating, you must honor the system using system documents. But you can't use theirs. You must use ones that you restate. You must. 
because that's the only way that you prove that you know they don't have jurisdiction over your document. See, when we send documents like this, this right here, this affidavit for release of interest, um, this is one of the documents where, uh, for example, where conveyances are concerned, lien holders, people doing business as lien holders when they know they don't have a lien. You can't have a lien in a, in a, 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 in a conveyance that was paid for with gold and silver using fiat. You can't have a, any interest, any fiat interest in an in a, in exchange that was done in gold and silver. You can't. But it's up to us to, to honor our system and know that and then state that. So not only have we leaned any of that past stuff, but we've also released any proclaimed interest by anyone in conveyances. So question again, how do you register your lien so it is recognized and it is um, legitimized, whatever? Or uh, how do you execute then? First, you recognize that it's a real lien when you do it. That's first, because remember you said in the spirit, you got to know in the spirit first, right? That's what mm -hmm. you said. Okay, mm -hmm. you have to know that whatever paperwork you do, that that's the real paperwork and what you've been seeing is not real. That's first. Okay. Next, you said something about a lien. I just pulled a lien document up. Uh, let's, uh, let me just see. I believe it's maybe this one. Yeah. So, this is the documents that, that they use for liens, correct? Yeah, in the U.S. Okay, uh, whatever, okay, wherever, wherever that we can even pull the one up for Canada. Empress uh, Chankel, you'll want to see this too. So what do we do with this document right here? We start, we, we put it on the holy altar so. and start altering. We don't do anything in black. It's in blue or red. Why is that important? Because red signifies the blood, and they know that. That's what a red letter edition Bible was all about, is that whenever the Christ speaks, the Christ speaks in red. That's why we do most of our documentation, especially our affidavits in red. And then when you're speaking in Admiralty and Commerce, you put it in blue. So what did we do? We would uh, take the time to restate this, put in red what the title really is. Or blue. Let's do it in blue. See, what they did, and let me show you why we do this, why this is important. What they put here, UCC, it, that's not, it doesn't mean anything. UCC is initials. That's not a word. It doesn't mean anything. That, that's why they take it and do whatever they want to do with it. They don't have to acknowledge anything because it's got Words that don't make sense. Those are not real words. So what do we do? We write everything out. And some will say, oh, that's going to take forever. Yep, sure is. Uh, and it won't take as long once you go ahead and get busy doing it. Because, see, our, uh, our liens are not uni uniform liens. They're not a form of lien. They are universal. That means verse means word. So when we restate these documents, we do this. Uh, name and phone at contact and, at, and filer. See, they use a lot of uh, abbreviations and acronyms and things like that. So we just get rid of all of that on this document. Get rid of it and put what we know it should be. These right here, these bars, oops, let me erase that. These would be red. We would make these red. And it doesn't have to be perfect. We make ours perfect because we, we take the time to do it, but it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be different from what they put out there because theirs is a form. It's not the real. That's why they call them forms. So when we do this and restate this, we would change it from name to appellation. We would... Take out any abbreviations that you see. Um, and then here on liens, a lot of times they'll, they only have room here for a two-state situation. 
So if it were Washington, on their liens, they would put the word, they would put WA. That right there is jurisdiction and it's not real. So what do we do? We actually take the time to put the whole word in there. It'll fit. Washington is the state because that's the land. That's the real name of the land. It's not state of Washington. It's not WA, W-A. It's none of that, okay? So we change this according to our will and according to who we know we are. And then, Justice Willie, when you send this document changed like that, we we even go down here and and put what type of document this is. It's not a UCC wage lien statement. That's not what this is. This is a universal commercial code lien statement. That's what it is. When you do this, when you when you restate your documents like this, no one can call it fraud because they didn't even name the document. You named it. They didn't do any of that. And here's the thing that 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 all who know uh copyright law are aware of. After 70 years, everything is fair game and wide open. And in some cases, after 50 years, everything is fair game and wide open. These documents are older than 70 years old. So we can do whatever we want with them. But to secure that, what did we do? We manifested liens in affidavit format on the U.S. trademark and patent office. And so our government, and when we say we leaned them, that means they're all of us. We did, we said all more, lean this office. Or this, these actors pretending to be an office, because that's really what they were actors. We're the real, tra we can, we can trademark and code and name and own things. They can't own nothing. They don't own anything. So when you are restating your lean, Justice Willie, when you send this, they can't say it's not a real lien, right? The system is going to honor what you put. And then I would change many other things here. I would change several other things. Some of the words here I would change, you know, and things like that, like when it comes to the, the secure party. But question, do they have to ratify it for it to be effective nope. to be able to... to to be executed or, or after you've created this, you don't whether you notify them or not, it is it is good to go. It's good to go when you put it on the public record, because the public record is actually the calculating that's the that's the record. That's the that's the record. Now, according to our processes, we we notify the, the, the subjects in the office of. We do that. By government mailing, we don't use fiat to mail anything. And see, even our mailing process states that they know we're the government because our mailing process works. It's been working for years. We've not used fiat to mail anything. We use the government mailing process, and it goes through every time. Canada has a, uh, Canaan Land has a government mailing process. Which is what? Which is what? Which is which is what you will look up and find out the same way we did. But but let, let me just say this: I can guarantee you that if I did just a little bit of research, I'll find out what it is. It's going to be the prepaid, whatever the prepaid mailing process is for Canaan Land, okay. whatever that first class prepaid mailing process. And I could look that up for you. Um, oh, I thought you were talking like registered mail. It's it, our mails are certified. They're okay. certified. Or register, either one. We use the, those forms, but we don't fill out their stuff. We use our own. And then everything, see, the post office is neutral. No matter what wars are going on, the post office has always been neutral. That's why we can use those green or pink or blue or whatever color your registered certified mailings are. We use that. But we also place the lien on, the, on, on those actors previously pretending to be the post office, and that's when they started honoring the, the stuff back in 2019.
So Justice Willie, there's this is this is the formula for everything you want to do. Restate all documents. Pull the document up online and find a way to restate it, even if you have to copy and paste it into Word or whatever. It just so happens that whenever I put like I can even I can even restate this is Black's Law Dictionary right here that I pulled up. If I want to restate a definition in this dictionary, I can do that. Like, for example, let's just use uh, bank of deposit, a savings bank or any other bank which receives money on deposit. Well, if I want to change that, I can change it to, let's see, I'll change it to depositors uh, bank for deposit. Let's do that. Just a moment. Uh, a thought just came to mind. Um, let's say you have a, fit, a car, and the mm -hmm. car was blue, and you bought it on credit, and you owe the bank, and you change the car to red. Now mm -hmm. you have modified it, and uh, it's now yours. What do you think about that? I think that, that, that competently the documentation comes first. Okay. Because <laughs> you, you, you can't just claim it. You have to demonstrate that you know how to claim it. Okay, that's where the documentation comes in at. So all the documentation used to paint it red, you have to restate that. And then all of the documentation concerning the, 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 uh, the VIN number and all of that, you have to place a lien on the actors. Actors must be liened. All actors must be liened. That's why the lien process is so important. And we lien them first by affidavit, by government affidavit. Then if, if we choose to, to do a lien uh, with these documents right here, we'll do that. If, if, if we want to look in the system and see something, because it's our system. But we have to lean that system in order for it to reflect what we, what we send. So there was a lot of leaning and levying going on, and there still is. Our lien first originate in the spirit realm. And the way that that happens is by government affidavit. So we must prove that we're the government. So let me just show you an example of a lien on Moorish government letterhead. Let's see. Uh, it's not Empress. Can we open the meeting? Yes, Empress, we can. Uh, here, let me put these in some order so I can find my lien. Okay. Let's see the lien for, uh, here, let me get this meeting open too. Uh, let's, let's do the lien, let's look at the lien that we did on the United States Corporation Company. It's unlocked, uh, Empress. Uh, it's on gratitude. Thank you. Thank you for letting us know too, Empress. We want everyone to be here who, uh, so let's take a look at the lien on the United States Corporation Company. Let's look at that one. Uh, let's see, Constitution. That one is number, here, number 10. Uh, this is document number 10 in, in, in our list of 40-something documents that we placed on the public record. And it's written in ancient English. But again, this is... Um, one moment, let me straighten everything out. This is, this is how we state our documentation, okay? And, when I, and I'm using the word state because we are the state. We've always been the state, okay? So what we did was we placed the lien here. Let me make this a little bigger. We start every affidavit. Just one moment. Let me put it on the screen. We start every affidavit with the court action language because, again, we're the court first and foremost. We don't speak unless we're using court action language. That's important. 
That's why these our, uh, our fiduciary document accompanies everything we do. And what did we do? We said debtors. We listed 50-some debtors. I, 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 this, this, page, this lien is, uh, let me see how many pages this lien is. And your liens don't have to be super long, but but if you want to if you want to uh, like Empress Chantel, you have you said 27, 20 some odd people on a lien. I mean on a a court a federal court case, quote unquote. Um, let me see how many pages this is. This document is. This lien is 11 pages, eight and a half by, thir uh, by 14. So this is what one of our liens looked like from top to bottom. And what we did was we said, okay, uh, we're going to lien it all the actors previously acting as government. Debtor number one, State of Alabama Corporation. Number two, state of Alaska. Number three, state of American Samoa. Number four, state of Arizona Corporation. We went all the way down through all of that fraud. And this lien has been on the public record for a long time. And that's why you're seeing them stop. And, and please note here, debtor 56, Donald J. Trump doing business as President and President is in all capital letters, and United States Corporation Company and all heirs, assigns, principals, agents, and derivatives thereof. That's the debtor. Hey, Pauline, hey, I hope you know that Land Rover was sold so months ago. ago. Uh, the White House, um, as long well. Long gone, bitch. The White House. Um, Land Rover is long gone, you dumb bitch. Uh, you ain't getting no fleet of vehicles, Pauline. Oh, Where's your fleet of Land Rovers? Uh, I got it. Well, well, this guy. God, huh? Yeah, you were supposed to be upstairs. <laughs> or, or, or if you do that, bring your computer downstairs with you. Is it? It's oh, a. What's the matter? Your a, IT department is sleeping the, the wheel. Your little cut. Five two nine eight. It was the in the last four of the of the phone number. She's getting accustomed to it. It's all good. Okay. We still kicking the rear end of, of all the fraud. So let's go. Um, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Much appreciated, Empress. Thank you. Uh, okay. So here's one of our liens. Now, the stuff that you're seeing with this subject, Donald J. Trump, that subject. The things that you're seeing with that one is he's acting out what he should be acting out by yielding to the authority. Okay? Um, because of this lien right here that we all put on the public record. And when we when we put our documents on the public record, just as Willie and for Chantel, this is very important. When, whenever we put any documents on the public record, we add this right here. Moors, who don't, who may not know this, let us make it clear. Right here, at the bottom, it says, "All sovereign, original, indigenous, ancient, divine Moorish American autographs affirming this, and all sovereign, original, indigenous, ancient empire state of Morocco." and de jure Morse National Republic federal government documents are on the public record at America, ancient Morocco, Northwest Amexum, Northwest Africa, the North Gate, Turtle Island, Gaia, Midgard, Earth. What this is stating is that we're all in agreement on this and that even though as the vizier I signed it, all Moors are viziers. All Moors are consul generals. All Moors are the judges and the justices. All Moors, we all are, we all have titles. All titles belong to us. So we put this at the end of all documents, all of our uh, affidavits as well, our government affidavits. 
So this is called a government affidavit, whereas these, uh, these that we restate are called our corporate form format or affidavits. We call them affidavits too, but they're, we call them corporate or company affidavits. And these never go anywhere without the paper, the, the affidavit. At least one affidavit accompanies all of our forms and formats that we send. Islam Empress, so is this to say that this is used for commercial use only? Yes. Islam. When you say commercial use only, you're talking about this, this document right here? Or any Islam. No, this document right here. Yes, this is, yes, when we speak in commercial language, we restate everything and we use our forms. We always, always, always use the forms but send affidavits, government affidavits. That's where our flags and all of that go. So there are levels to the commercial piece that make it so that your, com your commerce is not violable is unalienable, inalienable, not violated, okay? Understood. It will not be violated. Understood. So it's, it's the layers of the onion, basically. Yes, it is. Yes, Empress. And it, it, it actually gets more beautiful as we go through all of this. So it becomes the layers of the, the rose, the petals. <laughs> yes, indeed, indeed, indeed. Well, that flower. <laughs> yes. Islam. The roles of Sharon, yes. So Islam. this is how we restate everything and, and, and put it forth. And nothing that we have restated has been violated. None of it has been violated. None has been violated. Islam, nobility. Islam, I put in the chat for the sister whose daughter was pretty much kidnapped. Mm -hmm. uh, I put in the number system. Uh, the quo warranto and averment of jurisdiction, et cetera, et cetera. It's in the chat for you, step by step. Thank so you. So you have the structure. Yeah. Uh, but before I get off, we really wanted to raise the question in regards to the post office, post, I say it's postal service as well. We've sent out a lot of parcels, and mm -hmm. a lot of us are getting our parcels returned. Okay. Uh, we've leaned, levied. But the levies, we, of course, we put the levies on the public record as well, so they, they're notified of it. Uh, but for some reason, they they send our parcels elsewhere when they should be directly going through airmail and the lock and key because it's going straight to the treasury. So I'm one of those who've experienced this. So okay. do you have anything you that you can give us? Go right ahead. Yeah. Mm hmm so when you say you send it airmail, describe that process to me. What does that look like? Well, the envelope itself, uh, I restructured the envelope where everything is in blue mm -hmm. because it's commerce. Mm -hmm. And I, I literally crafted it airmail, little airmail with the registered mail bond sticker on it. So. so uh, all Air prepaid, of course. And registered mail is, and when you say prepaid, what do you mean? Well, the, the prepaid label on the right of them. Okay. Okay. Is in blue. Okay. Correct. Now, of course, so, our government on the left, the label is blue, of course, because it's commerce. Mm -hmm. So when I was doing this before I had this knowledge and I would use airmail, of course, we would pay, you know, fiat. Mm -hmm. It had no problem. It's right. all under lock and key. Right. So, so that's how I sent it through the airmail process. Of course, it was returned back. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because register, you're mixing registered mail and airmail together. That's not the process. You can't mix registered mail and airmail together. You have to do the airmail process itself alone. The same way you did it when you did it when you were paying fiat, except mm -hmm. putting the proper... Uh, stamping on it and that's that airmail stamp is going to look different from our blue stamp that we use for first class mail okay there's the error okay. yeah 
Mm-hmm. The system will honor what you do when you honor the system in 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 its process. Okay. Yeah. So that's why uh, you're having that issue. Is there's an airmail stamp that goes on the documents that must be restated. All you got to do is restate it. That's all you have to do. It can and 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 have it be competently restated. You, and you all know how to do that. If it if it says U dot S dot, don't put that. Put United States all the way out. Oh, in boy, blue. Spell all the way out. Spell spell everything okay. out in blue, and and you will uh, have restated it properly. That is what I missed. Uh, yes. Okay. Great. Right. Uh, there are some other questions, but uh, I see. I guess Sister Sasha, she's still there. Maybe I don't know. She she has some questions to follow up on some other things uh, that we were crafted up. The bond, mm-hmm. the Alange bonds yes. that we're yes. all working on. We saw the rise that you did, the demonstration. Yeah. And uh, we pretty much late last night up going through, you know, the Alange structure, going through it step by step, the actual bond. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we can get, we saw the contract yeah. number. Something. So we pulled that contract number, which took us straight mm-hmm. to GSA. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, G- yeah. Mm-hmm. We was like, oh, no one of these contract numbers on here. Yes, we have to restate. See, we don't have to do redo all. We don't have to reinvent the wheel. All we have to do is restate what's already there. Make makes more sense now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because we we don't want to be like just following without question or just like a sheep, you know, just going along with. Well, we you don't. All are never sheep. You've never been sheep no. a day in your life. They they <laughs> barely, we barely kept jobs because we weren't sheep. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you true. know, so yeah, uh, we've mm-hmm. never been sheep. We know there are no sheep on, you know, in our midst. None. Not one. Not one. Not one. This is true. This is all leaders, true. all Congress, all justices, all, 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 all. all we, also, we also are leaning up uh, specific airlines. We know they've been lean, but now we have the levy. We're levying wow. them up as well. You know, I'm certain so airlines. glad you said that. I'm yeah. so glad you said that. On that as well. Me, Earl, Sasha, Dawood, and some others. Mm-hmm. Uh, Let me, may I please say this about please. that? Thank you. Let me, and, and high honors for your work. You know, y'all know I honor your work there. The ancestors have stated to us, we have to do it. We have to do it. The ancestors have stated to us, and I, I, I'll just say it. So in listening to some of the other Moors who still seem to be stuck on fiat, they do powerful demonstrations, but then when it comes to fiat, they're stuck there. We can tell them about gold and silver all day, but the ancestors are saying to us, and this is what they told told me to do, so I'm just going to do it, and we'll see what happens. We know, I know what's going to happen already, though. <clears throat> so the ancestors have stated that we should call a meeting, a face-to-face, here at this territory for all of us for some time next year. Um, uh, yeah, I thought about March 21st because that's our, I don't know what day that's on. <clears throat> but in the interim, we're going to do what you all are doing already, which is make it our top priority to lean and levy and bond all airlines, all hotels, and restaurants so that we can come together without using fiat and use our economic system. And in the bonding, do what we've been doing, which is gold and silver, and let's do it and see how it turns out, and then do it again, and do it again and again. Uh, There's a video that I was going to show you all that, uh, not show you, but give you the link to that says that gold and silver is mainstream. It's it's mainstream. They're saying now what we've been saying, okay? Uh, This video, this 
link that I'm putting in the chat right now. Uh, just one moment. Let me get the crap out of the chat. Uh, I think they're already gone, probably. Let me boot them out. Uh, just a moment. Let me make sure we can see. So this is the link that I put in the chat is a documentary by um, Idris Elba, and I was telling telling you all about this before we started recording. Uh, Idris Elba, and it's about gold. And all it is 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 the 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 documentary was enacted by the quote-unquote World Gold Council, and they hired Idris Elba to do this documentary. It's, a, it's an hour and a half video. It's a, it's, a great, it's a great video. I thought it was a great production, a uh, great enactment. But in it, he is talking about gold in the way that we talk about gold because we know it's real money. And then he went back to his ancient heritage in Africa, and he met with them, and they had – they were enacting having gold everywhere and all of that. Uh, but it's they're saying what we've been saying about gold. And it's becoming more mainstream that the, the ones who hired him to do that know that he's an heir too. So they had him go back to where he came from and meet with those who did not go into the corporate status, as it were. Okay, uh, and they say some, they, they drop a few hints in the video and things like that, alluding to the things we've been talking about. And then, of course, there's always, they put a colonial twist on it. But um, here's the link in the chat to that video. So everyone earthwide is stating the same things we're stating. It's just that we had to, as, as we continue to, to use gold and silver in our exchanges, like what we're doing, um, they will get an alignment. They're already in alignment, really. And we've talked about that previously. Um, so having stated that about the gold and the silver and the constitutional money and how the business people are ready also, uh, I've asked business people, people doing commerce, will they accept gold and silver for their labor and for what they're doing? And they always say yes. They always say yes. So we have to bond them, though, and that's the thing. I just took a, a card of one of them, and what I'm going to do is Lean, levy, and bond. And they know what that means because they, they know what bonds are. And they already know also that we have to lean and levy. The lean says that there's a claim on some property, but there's someone else claiming the property who doesn't own it. That's what liens do. They remove that corporate covering of the fraud. Okay? Uh, and then... The levy says the property is ours and we're repossessing the property. The bond says that the property is insured and it's paid for. When we issue the bonds, we put a Morris Sovereign Delarium and Gold and Silver Clause in there. A constitution, a mention of the Constitution, a mention of the Gold and Silver Clause, a mention of the United States, that the creditor United States, who has the authority to create the bonds. Did you know that business people can't even create bonds? So corporations were never supposed to be creating them anyway. When I was doing my study on bonds, uh, uh, they, were, they weren't supposed to be creating bonds. That's why they created dead bonds. They can't create living bonds. So one thing... One, uh, are there any questions or comments or wisdom about that? Islam. Islam. Uh, my question is, 
I guess it doesn't address that specifically, but I need to understand the provost marshal piece. Do we okay. still send that to them, and what's the purpose? And can you know, would we be able to use our local provost marshal office, or how, how does that work? Lean, levy, and bond, and then send the commands. Okay. Lean, levy, and bond. The bond is is continuing to form that trust. Okay. And the bonds ha and the bonds also ensure that they get paid in gold and silver and lawful money, because our bond, when we sent the gold to the to the treasury, and then sent the bond with it, uh, that backed even more sovereign delarium with gold and silver and 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 our and who we are in our status. So yes, it will activate whatever is around you, but you must speak to it in your sovereign status because they're subjects. It's a system. Okay. Even the provost marshal, if certain things don't come out of the system, they won't move. Oh. But if those, if those things come, if the paperwork comes and they recognize the paperwork, what does recognition of the paperwork look like? It looks like the proper documentation restated, just like what you see on the screen. Where liens are concerned, uh, the lien that I show with the with the, this lien, uh, just one moment, this uh, this lien right here that we did on the quote unquote the actors pretending to be fifty states, I mm -hmm. could turn around and take the same information and put it on one of these restated documents and send it to the subjects in the office of Secretary of State, and you'll see it. When you go on the computer and you pull it up, you'll see this that, that lien there. Now, our liens are valid 100% when we put our affidavits on the public record or when we send and notify, because they're actually valid when we write them, because we're the law. That's kind of yeah. like when a fake judge would put a warrant, would, would, would say, he would just say, I'm issuing a warrant for the, for the arrest of this person standing in front of me. They would arrest without the warrant even being printed. Yep. Oh, okay. Yep. It's, so it's our it's word first. Then we just manifest it on paper saying we're competent to, to demonstrate that. It's so long. we don't have to notice, notice them ahead? We, we do notice them ahead. Now, let me say this. A part of due process inference is proper notification. That's constitutional. Okay. Okay. So that is a manifestation in the three dimension, in the third dimension that we're competent to do the job in the third dimension. Okay. Our word is first dimension. Our word is first dimension. Our energy is the second dimension, and the documents are this third dimension where we can see things and we're looking around and there's courts, we're courts and all of that. Islam. Uh, if I may add. Yes, Noble, Howard first, and then Justice Phoenix as well. Islam, if I may add. Because nobody hear me? Islam. We can hear you now, Empress Shasha. We can hear you now. We couldn't hear you at first. Oh, I've been Islaming since from bloody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, we couldn't hear you. You know, we, we couldn't hear you. Okay. No, I'll I'll, I'll yield the table. I just want to say to uh, the, the elder sister, a lot of them are hiding. You can also notify them through their Facebook, their Twitter, because these companies are all connected to that. So we've done that through their Facebook as well. Okay. Notification. <laughs> Uh, I will say this about that. That's that's that is that is notification. That's that's notification too. Where courts are concerned, because we're a court of record, court for record, it is always going to be good to follow that up with a, a notification by mail, with a tracking number. That is further competence. Yes, what you did is competent. It is written, it is written, it is written. Okay, and that's just, that's a suggestion from us. And that's the way we do things here is we, we send, we send and track it, you know, because, because we can do that without paying uh, any fiat for that. 
Islam yeah. and Islam. Islam. It's Islam. Nice simile enough as well in getting the confirmation code. And yes. And also sending the certified with it. Yes. Yes, indeed. Islam. Embra Shasha. Okay. <laughs> Open the heavens. We can hear you. <laughs> well, Open the gate. Bumba claw. <laughs> yeah, we could not hear you at first. We could not hear you at all. Seriously, but that's okay. I'm, I'm kicking back here. Yeah. So I, have, I um, if we can go back to the bond now, because um, yeah. I decided to do a little digging on the GSA and mm-hmm. get my, you know, understand what general services is and look at the the um, the number that you had on the contract for Verizon. Mm-hmm. And then before I go into that, I, if I recall correctly, you said you did Verizon, and then if others notify of other phone companies, you'll do that too. Or, or am I miss, did I miss here? Uh, I may have stated that, Empress. I don't, you know, we, we, we will do the work. We don't mind doing it at all. I mean, we do it. I mean, yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. you all, yes. It's actually best that we all, do it. every one of us, yes, that's government. Yes. So I looked, or we actually looked in, um, so I found on GSA where the that number was found, the number that you have for the contract. Mm-hmm. Um, and so there's a policy, telecommunications policy, which I'm sure yes. if you put mm-hmm. it mm-hmm. and restate it. And, and it spelled out the whole thing about the covered telecommunications and explained that it's prohibited these five companies and this five Chinese companies because of the, um, the technology they use. And, and then that the contractors, so there are various corporations that have contracted with GSA or they have, they do um, much like you have here. There's a policy. And so I went in and I just, because I said to myself, so if Verizon. So So you're talking about this number right here. Yes. This particular number. um, I can find the policy thing. It's okay. I was just wondering because I was thinking in terms of, for instance, we've been working on the Marriott. Mm-hmm. And I was thinking in terms of this is universal. So once it's done and everybody does the bond, it's it's there for everyone, for all. Yes, so it is. It so is. I, let me say this, Empress. It is there for everyone. However, we encourage as many, because the more voices are heard, the better, Okay. Uh, and then it shows that there are groups, lots of us that are competent at the process. Correct. Correct. So uh, in terms of its fleet, it is for mm-hmm. everyone, but everyone has to, everyone has to do, as, as you stated, show that they're competent, which means you have yes. to do the paperwork. So How will you know that you're competent to do it unless you do it? Unless you do mm-hmm. it, exactly. Yes. Uh, exactly. And so I was looking... And so I was looking and I found, okay, the Marriott. So the Marriott mm-hmm. International is is one of their contractors or the com- corporations that actually have, um, I don't know if I'm using the right term, but an account with GSA. So the uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, resources can be, be taken from there. Mm-hmm. So I was mm-hmm. looking specifically for my the phone company. Mm-hmm. And what I found was that their contract expires in November. Yes. yes. The parent company or one of a subsidiary of the parent company, which is based in California, contracts still exist. But the contract specifically for Jamaica expires mm-hmm. in November. So then just restate that contract and put it for seven more years. Or however many more years you choose. Ah, okay. Well, then Just I'll restate have... the contract and, and, and notify, 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 and it'll keep going. We, we actually, all of them are already expired, just so that we're all aware of that. It's mm-hmm. just a matter of we must speak to that resource and bond it. It must be bonded. Correct. Okay. Yeah. 
So another question for me um, again. And then, you know what, it doesn't even, because I was going to go into where I'm, I'm getting some TRN numbers, some tax ID numbers, but I, I discovered that the QCIT number is used for tax purposes. Some of those I can find. I can use a QCIT number as, a, as the bond number. Yes. Empress, I'm putting a link in the chat. Okay. That has uh, the, the, um, the contract numbers. Already for so for example, and I'll just put I'll just show you on the screen. For example, lodging. Mm -hmm. These two are the two lodging. Uh, they have a something called a um, it's an ID number, a schedule ID number. Pin number, yeah. I was yeah. I and then going on that GSA, there's some videos and little YouTube videos that are very informative. Yes, they are. We have access to so much. Yeah. And even with let's say for example with this travel and lodging and they have they have a, this number can be used as a contract number or the NAICS which again we spell all of this out. We don't use we don't we don't yeah, we spell it all out. Uh and then um it describes here what kind of lodging it is. So a full suite of lodging, negotiation and management services for transient, extended stay, and corporate housing needs are available. And this is the thing about this. You see this $1 million amount here? Yeah. As I was reading into uh, multiple award um, services, this $1 million amount is for each bond or stay or stay ah okay okay which blew me away in terms of i was like what like one of us could spend a million and then another one of us could spend a million and you know we create the bond for it because it's a part of our estate anyway yeah. and so what the ancestors told us and this was what I had to just drink some water first before I say it, is just to plan to come together on March 21st. I don't know what day March 21st Thursday, is. Thursday, March 24th. 21st, 21st. So let's do Thursday, Friday, Saturday mm -hmm. of 2024 using our economic authority using the, the, the things that we know to use and just demonstrate it and see what happens. I'm going to be demonstrating the hotels and stuff here also, all of that stuff. We're demonstrating all of the gold to silver. We're already doing that, as you all know. Mm -hmm. You know, and so they I said just, just call a meeting together. And as we're sending notification out that we're going to be traveling, you all are already doing the work with the airline. Um, many of us are already doing the work in, in, in other areas. Uh, the airlines, we all really need to be focusing on that. Yeah. Airlines and hotels. Yeah. As well as uh, car rentals, if you would. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All mm -hmm. of that. They need to be taking bonds and, and bonds and or gold and silver and more sovereign delarium for that. And more sovereign delarium is actually easier yeah, yeah. to deal with. The, the so, pushback, the pushback for I'm just not I'm not going to say just myself, mm -hmm. but we're collaborating, and putting our minds together. Quite a few of us on this project. Mm -hmm. uh, the pushback is the minions, the subjects, meaning those who are at the desk. In, for example, the Marriott, the people are calling themselves a general manager. Of course, we know they're not that, but that's that's kind of the pushback uh, or the delay, if you would. Everything else we've done, lean this levy, we finally launched a bond, mm -hmm. for example, on the Marriott, which we did that a couple nights back, me and uh -huh. Sasha and uh -huh. whatnot. So that's the pushback. That's the dilemma. We're trying to solve this dilemma. So we'll get okay. these people out of the way and assume the rooms that we've already paid for, quote, unquote, with Delirium. 
So here's my suggestion about that. First and foremost, they don't really need to be out of the way because they're going to do the work. Cool. They don't really need to be out of the way. So, so where perspective is concerned, they're subject to you. They are going to honor the system first and foremost because that's what we told them. And when we honor the system too, there will be no more pushback. We've seen that with the post office. No, I haven't seen that with the post office. You, you, you've not seen it, but we showed you. In fact, let's, let me put the link to the video where we showed you that the post office is honoring. And, and so, um, mm -hmm. I'd like to confirm that the, the post of peace is working for me. I have no problem yeah. at all. Yeah. Okay. Uh, go ahead and I apologize. Go ahead. I was just going to no. ask. The, oh, the um, the link that you put in the chat. Uh, I guess you have to create a Microsoft account or something to get in there. Mm -mm. No, I already have an account, but it looks like you need to be it needs to be shared with you. Because when it when I when I log into my account, that I can only get my files. I can't go look at your files in your account unless it's been shared with me. Hmm. The problem. Uh, I did. I did at open access to that as I saw the uh, the request come in. I did open access to it to everyone actually. So I don't have it. So I have to set up an account to actually access the um, the the file that you had that you were showing. Sure. You should be able to see it in mine. You should be able to see it in mine. And 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 Prashash, I did. I did give uh, do the thing where you give access. Normally that that block thing is not put on there, so I didn't expect it this time, but it turned out that it was on there this time. Uh, yeah, that, but this, this particular thing is Microsoft. I, I, don't, it, I don't have a Microsoft. I've never, I've never come across it before. But the GSA document that you had on your screen and you put the link in the chat? Mm-hmm. Oh, this is, that's, a, that's an Excel document. That's an Excel document. Uh, and I don't even have Excel. I actually have Google Sheets, and but it should still open for you. Yeah, it won't open up on my end either. Just yeah. like yeah. the email documents didn't work either. Okay, let me let me just let me just uh, change the permissions on it, I guess, uh, and put the link back in there again. Just one second. It says sign in option. Sign in with a security key. Sign yeah. in with Git. Mm -mm. Yeah, you shouldn't. You shouldn't have. Uh, I just put another link in the chat. So Noble Phoenix, you can take a look at that link. It's about a two or three minute video. Uh, and I'm just showing where the post office is honoring everything that we send. Uh, with the the slips, the stamping, all of that. What what we're saying is is not that you're not having success. Is there's a blockage we haven't identified and corrected yet in Florida, because I'm in Florida, Orlando. He's in Florida on the West Coast. The same issue we're running into. They're sending and rerouting the mail, running around, and okay. then it comes back for postage. Let yes. me ask. Same. Let me ask. Okay, so you all are having that that issue. Is there anyone else having that issue in, in any of the other yes. territories? Of yes. course. Just a moment. Yes. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold, hold, please. Those that are in Florida, you said that. We get it. I'm, we're now talking about other territories. Is anyone else having that issue? Yes, yeah, um, California. Yes. California. Okay. Anyone else? Shaka Maxim. Shaka Maxim. Shaka Maxim. Okay. I have. I am in at one post office. Everything has gone like the. Birds flying south. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two post offices where I leaned. Mm -hmm. They're not. They're not doing. Then trying to give me back stuff and everything else, which I refuse. But so it's very interesting because the one I have not leaned. Mm -hmm. I just drop everything in the mailbox. It's gone mm -hmm. where it's supposed to go. Yeah. Um, these two, which are walking distance from my where mm -hmm. my where my domicile. Mm -hmm. Have been leaned and everything, and they're they're not. Let me ask you all who who are stating that that is not that is not going. Um, what, what, is it that you're looking in the so you give it to them and then you look in the system and it's not. What is it doing in there? 
No, in my case, what I, I did not give it to them or hand it to them across the counter because that's the postal service. It was dropped in the box with the certified mail mm -hmm. already on it. Mm -hmm. And I sent about six or seven of them. This was several months back. And mm -hmm. I've been, you know, renegotiating my study to make sure that I'm doing everything right. And I have been. But they simply sent me six packages back demanding uh, stamps. These are not okay. bad stamps, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So Can I you grab one of those really quickly? Because I, I, want, I, want, I want us to look at something on, on them. Grab, give just, if you could grab one really quickly that they sent back. This is the kind of study that I just love. Now, the one I want to get into is that, that file on yours. <laughs> yeah. Can't get in. Yeah, because as we're bonding, we, this makes it much easier for, for, for us where bonding is concerned. Yes, but I can't get access right now. Andrew. I don't know why. Yeah, I either. can't get access uh, to it either. Okay, just a moment. Let me, let me, I, I just changed it to, I just changed the, the status of the page. Can you try this link that's there now, maybe? Uh, let me see. Share, share, share. Manage access. Wait a minute. Let me let me go to manage access and see if there's something that needs to be changed there. Because I'm sure it is. Because I didn't have any issues getting into this document. This file has not been shared with anyone yet. Start sharing. Uh, anyone with the link. That's what I want to do. Anyone with the link can edit. Apply. Okay. Now, Are you sending it as a PDF? Anyone with Are you the others editing it though, Empress? I mean, uh, not editing, just viewing. Right, so make sure you change that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me copy this link, and then I will put it in the chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Nobility. Try it now, Empress Shasha, and, and let me know if you can see it. Because this is this this when I saw this, it just makes everything easier. Where rent, uh, car rentals, hotels, and all of that stuff is concerned, all of that we can restate here. It's 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 really everything everything. That was that when when that's when I went into the, the um the the, the, web, the web, and I was just like, wow, wow, okay, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yes. Can you, access, can you access the, oh, it worked? Great, 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 great. It saying sign, sign in. It opened up. I don't have a. Empress Shasha, try one more time the last link, the last link that I put in there just now. The very last link. Let me get back. Because it's working for the others. Right. Um. Last you have to copy the bottom two lines, Empress. Islam. Very low. Okay, let me let me see. Now. Um, Islam, Empress. Mhm. Mm uh, it doesn't work for me. It tell, it gives me a serious error uh, message. That's it says error code general exception message general exception while processing. I got this. So you you uh you have to copy the last two lines from what they were saying. Copy the whole thing. Copy the whole thing. Because I, I, I did make it so that anyone with the link can view the document. Sure that. Hang on. <gasps> yes. <laughs> Tondo, my mingi, I'm inside. One. Yay. <laughs> Islam. It looks a little different from your screen, but it's... Uh... In there. Hmm. Mine opened it up in uh, what is this? Uh, I don't even know what this is. Um, edit. I don't know what program this is. It's either Excel or Google Sheets. Either Excel, one. Excel. Well, it's got the X. I don't know, but yeah, it. Well, I'm inside. Thank you. Yeah. Islam. Yeah. Empress Angel, are you able to get in and see it? This this shortened everything for me in terms of numbers to use on the bonds and things like that and what to say 
contract numbers and all that stuff. This shortened everything. Um, and then yes, mom. Are you able to get in? No, it's still telling me this page cannot be found now. Try Let me see. It. This is this D. I mean, one D R V S dot M S page cannot be found. Okay. I I just got access with the new link. Yeah. With the new link, have you tried? And to I, I copied and pasted everything and put it together and all that jazz. Let's okay. See. The very last one. one. The very last one. Yeah, that's what I'm copying, and I'm copying the link, and then I'm going back and copying and pasting the uh, additional information. That might be the issue, is going back and copying and pasting. Because I can't copy everything together. Just copy the link from the actual chat. There you see, up to the right, you'll see the three dots. If you click on the three dots, you can copy, and then paste that in your your browser, and then... Yeah. Return and it should pop up then. That's what I'm Okay, doing. let's let's try that. One. Check your email. Uh, all right, I'll do all three. <laughs> let's see. So this made okay, numbering contracts and things of that nature very easy. I had to write out and state out and write out and study everything. These these all of this uh, abbreviation mess right here, because they don't. It's just it's just. I, I don't I don't I don't even know how we did it when when I was working in in uh certain quote unquote government service. I don't even know how and we did it. And stuff. Yeah. It's Islam and first was that which email did you send it to? Can you send it to Mother Chief Justice, please? So um, now, a couple of things I wanted to state is that at some point we must push through because it's, we already know that the previous financial system's done. We know that. We we know it's finished because they were even trying to implement something new, talking about quote unquote in their enactment in the last era talking about CBDCs and, and that trash. So we know it's finished. So it's our, it's, 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 it's our time to go ahead and just demonstrate, just continue to demonstrate, because we're, we're demonstrating already. That's the thing. You know, um, I was watching um, Dr. Nyella Gilliam and uh, Consul Lamont mm. on the, the, the one that they did, the, the uh, office hours of Dr. G, I believe it was. Was it office hours or was it House of Reawakening Mind? It was uh, House of Re official House. Of Re it was office hours, is um, Yes. Yeah. Right. So mm -hmm. you know what I thought about? Uh, I, I absolutely love them. I love both of them very much. Um, what I thought about is this: Dr. Nyella Gilliam L. She sells silver, right? And I thought, well. If she sells silver, since she since she sells silver, why why doesn't Chief Justice Lamont have the people that were going to come to the event buy the silver from her, and then give the silver at the door for his event for his gun event because he was having a gun event. He sells it too. So why won't they just use that? Because see, it's the fiat piece that's you know. That messes things up, you know. So I don't know. I was just thinking that through because I, I I love the demonstrations that they're doing. They're they're demonstrating greatly. And he he actually proved and and affirmed what we've been stating about about the POW demonstration. Oh yes, he did. Islam, Islam, Islam. And he stated Islam the perfect part that you must affirm yourself. Yes. He must have said that at least ten times. <laughs> I was like, Islam. It's like that demonstration he did was for that purpose alone, for him to come and see to the realization of all those things he had to see in real life, in real time, to show him that part. Our demonstrations are for our growth and our edification, and then we can assist others. But we have to do it first, and then we can help everybody. You know, we can assist us. 
Now, Empress Chantel, are you, is she still here, Empress Chantel, who was asking the question earlier? Is she still? Because I know we tend to go a little bit long sometimes. I was going to tell her about the assist court with her daughter and show her that in Black's Law Dictionary. So, all more, when you want to assist others in court, you cannot speak for them. They must speak for themselves. However, you can do an assist court action, and we talked about this already as well. Uh, I'll go really quickly to that word here in the dictionary so that we can look at it really quickly. Because an, an assist court is a court. It's not somebody trying to be a lawyer or trying to be a prosecutor or some. It's not that. You're the actual court. And the assist court can issue a ruling in the favor, but it but you must properly identify the person. So here's assist court right here. Oh well, you know what? I I, I was looking through here and they have many things that about assist. Remember we talked about Mort the ancestor, where you can claim your ancestral heritage. And the land is automatically going to be yours when you look at it and say, yes, this is our land. Well, they have an assist of Mort the ancestor, a real action, a real action. They didn't say action. They didn't say acting. They said a real action, which lays to recover land of which a person had been deprived on the death of his ancestor by the abatement or intrusion of a stranger. What? Yes! Islam, this changes a whole, whole lot. Awesome. Remember, we talked about assist courts, assist courts. Here it is right here. There are many assist court actions, but they must be real. They can't be fake. They must be real. And uh, I would encourage you to look at the different assist courts here it is right here, assist. This is what we studied uh, 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 two weeks ago, I believe. Uh, let me pull it down here. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Just a moment. So what it is here, it says assist. And this is in Black's Law, fourth edition. An ancient species of court consisting of a certain number of men, usually 12, and when they say men, that means all of us, who were summoned together, they, we summon ourselves, to try a disputed cause performing, performing the functions of a jury, except that they give a verdict from their own investigation and knowledge and not upon not even upon evidence adduced. And the 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 validity is from the fact that they sat together, that they communed together, that they were called the assist. A court composed of an assembly of knights or other substantial men with the baron or justice in a certain with the baron or justice meaning the baron or justice was probably a, a, an empress, in a certain place at an appointed time. The verdict or judgment of the jurors or recognizers of this. Which means and there are 13. There is 13 sitting together then. Oh, yes, 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 yes. And for us, we can change that number and make it whatever we want to make it. But no, what I'm speaking of is actually there are... so Yes. The zodiac, Zodiacus, is the 13th, the big yes. one, 13. Yes, that's indeed, Empress. That's what I'm seeing. Yes, that's yes, indeed. Yes. And Empress, you would see deeply into it and have to explain it to us. <laughs> yes, 100. Yes. 100. So, it's, Islam, Empress. This also fulfills being able to have a jury of your peers in their more dire process. So, Islam, 
And I've done some of this with my unincorporated religious organization by writing rulings uh, yes. for people to get out of, you know, their system or their jurisdiction. There so it Islam, is. This is more. There it is. Islam. Indeed. Look at here. Assist rent. The certain established rents of the freeholders and ancient copy holders of a manor so-called because they are assist or made precise and certain. And whenever you see the word certain, they're talking about money. They're talking about a specific species of money. That if it says assist, it must be ancient, like more sovereign delirium, gold and silver. So, you know, here grand assist, or a size, a peculiar species of trial by jury introduced in the time of Henry II, giving the tenant or defendant in a writ of right the alternative of a trial by battle or by his peers. All of this stuff, we can, and, and of course, we can, we can uh, add the word, restate these definitions to, to fit our state, okay? According to the acts of state, we can do that. Mort the ancestor, we, we, we talked about that one. Uh and then when we go down here in the uh in the book, I believe M N O P Mort the one that we talked about initially before the ancestors showed us the assist court uh is M N M uh is here. Uh, listen, there's nothing more, there's nothing more with more authority than our ancient bloodline and birthright. Nothing has more authority than that. Everyone knows that. Just one moment. Let's pull it up here. There it is. There's Mort the Ancestor. An ancient and now almost obsolete remedy in the English law. And a size of Mort the ancestor was a writ which lay for a person whose ancestor died seized of lands in fee simple, and after his death a stranger abated. And this writ directed the sheriff to summon a jury, which is still us. That's all of that is us. We do all the summoning and all of that. Who should view the land in question and recognize, recognize, whether such ancestor were seized thereof on the day of his death and whether the demandant were the next heir. The way that everyone knows that we're the heirs is that we're doing everything ourselves. That's how everyone knows that, oh, those are the ancient heirs because they don't need us for anything. They're restating all the documents. They're the court. They're the judges. They're the justices. They're the jury. They are everything. They're the uh, the tax assessor, they've written up the deeds, they even have title, uh, they're giving ancestral documents and documents that the system honors. And the system honors our ancestral documents because it's our system. If you send forms and you don't send those documents, those ancient documents, they're going to automatically attach it to the dead. You don't want that. It must be moored to the land by way of our flags, our stamps, our seals, our red, right red thumbprint, our red, all of that. Are there any other questions, comments, wisdom? We got this, basically, to what I'm saying. Yes, Islam. Islam. Uh, I sent to you the document that you asked for, the uh, a copy, the photo of the Return postage. Okay. Um, I had to send it to your government. Let me see if I can put it in the chat. I just tried to download it. I'm gonna see yeah, if I can. If put you it could do that, that would be great. I, can. I was fooling with that while you were talking. Let me see if I can make it happen here. Okay, there you go. Oh, good. Even better. Yes. Now, well, let's see again, the this is from June, and we've made some adjustments since then. So. Uh, is it in the chat? It's in my chat right here. I'm looking at it. 
Um, receive your messages. Well, I guess I'll put. Um, I'm not seeing it here. Um, Justice Howard is asking to. He says he's muted. And he absolutely. We have not muted him. No, but no I'm not muted. I'm right here listening. Uh, no, Justice Earl. Okay. Uh, I got confused. Dawood asked to open up. He was trying to get in. I don't know if he's in or not. It's long. Yes, Earl. We're, I'm not showing anyone muted on this call. No one at all. It's not saying that anyone is mute. Uh, when I say mute, muted, I mean... Uh, and uh, let me see. Justice Earl. Let's find his, uh, his line. This is Earl. It's showing that his line is open, actually. Let me redo. Justice Earl? Justice Earl? It's showing that his line... Do you, do you all see that his line is open? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, so I, I don't know why we can't hear him. The line is open, and he's on the call. We see that. Okay. Um I'm still getting that error as I'm trying to post this in your chat here. Okay. Let me see if I can pull it up from Gmail. Uh just a moment, let me Let me, uh, just a moment. The heck? Okay. Uh, is it DJ Johnson, Noble Phoenix? It's either that or See Me Jam, Morris Family Trust, or See Me Jam Trust, something like that. Okay. Um, I see it's a little blurry. Maybe it will clear up after I'm a while. You I'm sending you another one that should be clearer. Okay. Yeah, Give me just one. a second to finish because all of a sudden it just got wanky for like a word. Okay. I've been talking to Sasha a little bit. That is one of her words. <laughs> That's not the word, Phoenix. <laughs> That's not the word, huh? <laughs> That's too much information. GMO. Yeah. GMO. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, in the meantime, we'll look at what um, let's see. Okay, it should oh, have gone through now. Just a moment. Uh, And the correct email address is the government with an e at the end at gmail dot com. Correct. Yes, that That's is correct. correct. All right. And it's coming from See Me Jam Trust T R two zero one four. Okay. Uh, the I can tell you what it is. Did you check your spam? No, I I can see it. I can check. I, I can tell tell them exactly what what the issues are. Uh, the Noble Phoenix, do you mind if I share this? No, screen? please, because everybody okay. needs to see it and learn. Okay. The little nuances uh, that's slowing us down. Yes, indeed, indeed. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, whatever it is. Now, remind you, this is back in June, and since then, you know, we've corrected a number of things, and I've still gotten some back. Okay. All right. 
So, are you still using that, that stamp that's in the corner, that blue stamp in the upper right corner? Are you still using that one? No, we have a new one. Um, I have not been able to use the new one yet. Um, okay. But, but just as Howard has used the new one. Okay. All right. Uh, let me say this about uh, first about what, you, what, what we see on the screen and what the issue is. So first and foremost, Uh, that the, so we know that this this uh, this is not the right one. We changed that because this says no postage is mailed. On this side, it says u dot s dot, and and we don't we don't acknowledge them on any of our uh, documents. We changed that, and the video is on the public record out yes. there. Um, secondly, this right here whoever this is right here, what do you have him as? What is this? It says Gary W. Fadden something. What is that word right there? Yes, Sheriff, instead of officer. Sheriff. Yeah. Okay, so that's the problem. No, wait, I, I got to stop right there, and, and I've got to understand something or comprehend something. Mm -hmm. The person that it is addressed to should yes. not wait cause them to send back the mailing and ask for postage. Oh, yes, they will, because we already put it on the public record that they're not who they say they are. We have put the, the system is doing what it's supposed to do. Okay. Now, I've, I've, I've sent mail to someone without an office, and I've sent it straight to a corporate fiction in all capital letters and in mm -hmm. upper lowercase, mm -hmm. and they've also come back. So how do you explain that? How do we, how am I to understand that in view of what you just said? Why are you speaking to corporate fiction when you should be speaking to subjects? So does it have to say subject? Yes, because that's what we put on the public record as the, as the process. The system, see, you, you're still thinking that a person is going to look at that and not know that that's a subject and not know that the government, the government is... They know. Uh, you, you, you skip and, and go ahead. Someone's about to ask a question. Go ahead. Uh, it was uh, Gloria Bay. I put on mine, and I'm not having problems. Mm -hmm. uh, say like in the office of um, the governor, state of Texas, mm -hmm. and I put Greg Abbott. Mm -hmm. and it's been going through fine as before. It didn't, but mm -hmm. In the last well, several months, it goes through. I'm not having any problem. Mm -hmm. That's what I meant. I'm not having problems. But mm -hmm. I feel. Well, uh, the majority, uh, from what I'm hearing, based on what, what the poll we just took a, a little while ago, the majority are not having problems. But it's important that we look at the ones that are. Okay. You know, because he's not a sheriff and. He knows it. They know it. They all know it. If you send something to him as the sheriff, they're going to want postage because they already know that if he, if you're claiming he's your sheriff, that that that's a corporate fiction. That's a corporate situation. That's in their that's in their arena. Okay. That's so how they know. How should that look then? Let's just talk about what that should look like, and let's let's okay. deal. Okay. What it should look like is this. And we'll just do it right here on the screen. Yeah, that's perfect. Perfect. Let's say uh, Gary McFadden. Okay. No, no, no. Who's who is it that you're sending it to? <laughs> Mecklenburg. Uh, okay. Uh, Office of Sheriff. Mecklenburg. Mecklenburg. Um, Sheriff's office or Office of Sheriff. Sheriff's office. This is how it should look. Let me let me just put it in the right ink and on the right side and all of that. It's in blue. Yes. Wherever he is, uh, 
That's how it should look. Oh, you're leaving the zip code off. Yep. Now, this is not being returned. It's going. So we're, when we're sending it, it's not going yep. to be in the middle. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Yep. And then in the upper left corner, you can put what you have there or you can put in the upper left corner that is from, and I'll just use me as an example, uh, this is how I, because, and, and, and listen, <laughs> This will still go too when we do it like this. So you're saying you're sending it from your sheriff's office to his sheriff's office? I could say that. I could have said King County Sheriff. I could I can say Mecklenburg Sheriff too because he ain't the sheriff, but they gotta have a sheriff. Right. And you're leaving the zips off. And leaving the zips off, and it still it will still go because we're talking land to land, not land to corpse. We're not speaking into the yeah. Looking at the stamp that I have on there for the return address, other than the color, what's wrong with it? Is there anything wrong with it? Other with the than the color, uh, let me Far get left. let me get over there. Uh, this one, yes. The colors, you know, is, is not correct. I'm not talking um, to one on the right. I'm talking to one on the far left. Oh, on the far left. Um, yes, that return. Yes, there is something wrong with it. Please the bracket, the brackets should not be there. You're not near Orlando, Florida territory. You should just say Orlando, comma Florida. Period. That's it. That's all. That's all you need there. You don't need near. You don't need brackets. You don't need any of that. You don't need to say in care of either. As long as you're spelling everything out and you put circle like you have it there, that's correct. It, it's not in care of anymore. It's going. To, it's directly from directly to. Okay. All right. Now I'm that's, looking. that's actually probably why they did it, too, is because that near Orlando, Florida in brackets, because anything in red can't be dead anyway. Brackets indicate that there's something that's dead there. Or there's you know? not. Right. And so you're, point, you're, you're at Orlando, comma, Florida. Yeah. Um, now, I'm looking at... Earl sent me his because he can't get back in. He sent me one of his where they sent back just recently. Just a moment. Just and, let me see if he can get in. Well, if the, the the meeting is open, I don't know how some he can. It's been open for the last 20, 30, 40 years. On his end, so I'll just leave it as that. But he's, his okay. stamp, uh, I'm trying to read it. Um, it's too blurry. Damn it. Uh, darn it. Um, it's similar. It's in blue. No postage necessary. And it's got the 12 mm -hmm. staff or something on here. I don't see U.S. dot on here. Let me see if I can. Let me see if I can pull his up because I think he sent his via email as well. Uh, just one moment. Let me get to my email really quickly and maybe maybe I can pull his up. Yeah, and he does maybe. have subject Kimberly somebody on his. Okay, let's take a look. It must be precise. It must be precise. Every word, because uh, this this I'll be honest with you is the only thing that's really really slowing me down right now. Yeah. Because I yeah. just I can't use fiat. I don't have fiat to be using any uh -uh. damn. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. And you don't have to use it. That's the that's I the beauty. Would like to be in that position again. I I used to use 
um, tax aid per Q. For years, mm-hmm. I used that all mm-hmm. over the country, all right, and no problems, no issues. That was before we woke up. Yes, now that we wake up, that doesn't even work. It's not supposed to. When we wake up, everything changes. Everything changes. Because we're, in, we, we're, we're, we're instituting new systems, so everything is going to change. Okay, I see his here. Uh, let me just see. It's, 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 uh, I'm going to have to copy it and twist it because it's, maybe I can get it. Uh, let me copy it and twist it. Maybe I maybe I can rotate it. I'm hoping. Uh, no. Change picture. No, you dot mail. So first class yes dot mail would be wrong. Is that correct? Yeah. If it says u dot s dot, it should be United States. Okay. So first class United States mail. And no abbreviations anywhere on there. Look, because there were a couple of other abbreviations, I believe. I see, I see chapter is abbreviated. Um, all of that, we wrote we wrote all of that out. Okay. Yeah. Now with his... I'm looking at one of his that got returned because of that. Because of what? The, the abbreviations in his stamp. Yeah. Um, yes, let me just take a look. There's some other things on here. He put a bunch of codes. Yes, he did. And stamps on the outside. Those are not necessary. None of that is necessary. Seals and things like that are not necessary because that's commerce. It's not, it's not, um, our commerce is domestic. It's not, it's not international. It was it was international before when we thought that some foreigners was doing things. But foreigners are not doing anything on our land. We're doing everything, and we got some subjects in the office of. They're, our subjects are not foreign. Our subjects are all rise and stand and remain standing, standing living subjects. And that's those offices. And so um, another thing that he has on his, he does have uh he let me see, he has latitude and longitude, that's good. He has near something territory. Lexington, Kentucky. Yeah. So it should just say Lexington, Kentucky. He's not near there, he's on his own land. And then anything that says care of or C slash O don't that none of that is necessary. Okay. Uh, now what about the who he's an address, addressing it to, Office of the Postmaster, Barbara Cardoza doing business as Postmaster. Nope. You're not talking to anybody that's doing business in your jo- doing your job. You're not talking to anybody like that. So she is a subject, and the Postmaster's office is your office. So it's almost like we all work from home. And we're telling the people in the, in the office, and we're the CEO, and we're the head of everything, and we're telling them what to do. Gotcha. So it's just really being sent to her, not the office. Pauline's been promising free travel it's and been, get together uh, for three years. It's, no, it's, it's been, bullshit. Um, not going to happen. Yeah. Never going to happen, bitch. No free travel, <laughs> no get together. <laughs> Man, where's the it's so funny. That's so funny. Okay, so um, yeah, with 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 his every every no matter who you're sending it to, they're a subject. You've been promising okay. for three years, calling in the day. Yeah, they're, everyone's a subject, and. Again, we're we're doing our commerce on the land. Now, let, I'll say this too, because I've done it before. In the past, even when I sent things like this, and if for the subject I put a zip code, it still went through. 
because the zip code, first of all, it's in blue. It's to a subject, and that's still a trust that we created and not them. And so if I wanted to put it there, I could, but I just don't give, I don't put, I don't put it up here. And what if you don't know the name of, say, the CEO that you're trying to send it to because you, you couldn't find it? It's a private company. And you still a, to them. They shouldn't be doing business if they, if they don't have well, somebody out there. They're already out there. And they're not under the SEC, and you can't find them. You can't <laughs> find them. I'm just saying as an example. I don't have a specific one. But there have been companies I have not been able to find who they, who's really in charge of it that I need to address. So there will be there will be something, some name somewhere that comes up, but you can look in you can always go to the Secretary of State's office and see who the agent is for that for that. Because okay. they had to be registered with the Secretary of State, even if it's private. So you could so you're saying send it to the registered agent if you can't find the actual put the, owner. put the registered agent as the subject because that's what they all are anyway. Okay. Yeah. But I mean that's Technically, that's what the registered agent is for, to receive process service. So that makes sense. Okay, I get that. Yeah. I get that. And if I say anything that doesn't make sense, please state that. And I'll... Oh, you know I will. You know I will. <laughs> but so far, we're doing good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, listen, we got this. And, and, and our system recognizes everything that we do when we do it according to the system. Now, let me say this, too, about, about everything. Because, see, listen, if we do a demonstration and the demonstration is perfect, but we do it with war energy, the ancestors will cause the system to stop, to hold it for a minute. For a minute. The system will still do what it's supposed to do, but we can't even, we can't even have the wrong energy when we're doing things. That's how precise our system is. So to say that, they may not know, and Noble Phoenix, you said that to, to, they, they may, they, they, there's no way they're going to know that that's, not, that that's not who we say it is. The system will know, and, and there's more than one system working together here. All three systems are interlocking, and that's the issue. What three systems are you referring to? Go ahead. The, the spiritual system. When you go to the post office, there's a spiritual thing going on there first and foremost. It's spiritual first. Or wherever you go, it's spiritual first. That's why before I go into anywhere to demonstrate, I stand outside and do a court action. I just, even if I just close my eyes and stand outside for just a moment and, and say in my mind, all rise and stand and remain standing into perpetuity, et cetera, because I know it's spiritual. And then when I go in, I just remember that I'm doing a court action going in. And w when I did that the last time I went to the post office as postmaster, they gave me the information that I that was necessary in order to competently do that, which is you the uh, in order to come back here you have to have a they didn't even say I couldn't come back there. They said in order to come back here you have to have a a, a badge. Okay. And 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 the badge, and she said you have to have a badge that looks like ours. That's what she said. I said, well, let me see your badge, and she showed it to me, and I and I made one. And then that's when the ancestors started to show me about how about the vehicles and how that comes into play with G GSA, a general services rather. So. The energy, because you might think, you might, and, and when I say you, I mean just in general, you know, you might think, well, they're not going to know if I have war energy or not because I'm not going to show it. But the ancestors know because they're within you. So energy clearing is, is very important, not to mention the little foxes that can, that, that can spoil the vine. That's why the Biblios and all the ancient records say it's the little foxes that spoil the vine. For us, we say it in the opposite. It's the little foxes that cause the vine to bloom and blossom because we get them right. So the spiritual energy is the first one. What were the other two systems? The other two systems. The second one is the word, and actually the word is first. It depends on how you look at it. 
the word, the spirit, and then the actual physical 3D demonstration. Those three. Okay. Very good. Very good. Thank you, Noble Phoenix, for keeping us on track. It's it. It's necessary. With that being stated, I have nothing further for this great Congress. I was going to show you one other thing, but I will we'll, we'll keep it for the next time if you all, you know, I was going to show uh, the Divinity Code once more. In fact, let me just do that really quick. It's only going to take two seconds. AA 222141A1 Truth, really quickly, in the Washington State Legislature Codes, okay? These are the revised codes for Washington, which we've restated. 222 is what? Here's Title II is Courts of Record. I can't see anything. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh, thank you, Empress. Y'all keep me straight here. Uh... I'm being made better every day just by being a part of the Congress. Really quickly, uh, can you see that on the screen, Empress? Is it there? Yes. Okay, great. So um, this is what I went to, and I, I applied the Divinity Code. And when I applied the Divinity Code, it went straight to court. Here it is right here, Title II, Courts of Records. So this is AA222141, Courts of Record chat, uh, 2. And then I said, well, let me just go down here to 220 and see what that is. 222 is Magistrates, which is my favorite chapter in the Circle 7, Magistrate and Subject Chapter 29. And then it talks about who, who are the magistrates. And, and so on and so forth. So where, you, where your uh, state codes are that we've restated, apply the divinity code and you will see who you are and how to use them because you can actually turn around and use that in your documentation when you're doing state business. Who are the magistrates? At 222, here it is right here. Uh, and then when I applied 141, general provision is one. Here's one four, state medal of merit. What I what I did also is um, I went to civil procedure title four, and did and 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 just kind of looked around in there to see if I could apply the code there. Um, it can and I got a few things like uh, for 100, or I could could have used the very first one, rule of decision, form of action. Again, all of it applies to us, but the 222 went straight to the courts, and we can go from there on 141. Title one, uh, 104 is the code. 104, and here's one, revised code. They're telling you here at 141 that the code is enacted. That means it's an act and that we have to restate them. So when I apply 141, here's 141 right here. There's 141 on the revised code is saying point blank right in our faces, that's an act that we must restate everything and that they look they adopted they didn't write they didn't create they didn't make the law they adopted so we are to restate and we hereby restate all revised codes for washington and for all states so with that being stated that's all i have for today uh are there any other questions comments or wisdom from this great congress islam islam empress so um when we're doing liens, we're leaning the subjects in the office of. Mm -mm. No. We're not leaning subjects, we're leaning corpses pretending to be the CEO. Corpses pretending to be the CEO. So Donald Trump doing business as president, that's a corpse. The real Donald Trump is a subject. We don't lean our subjects, we lean 
the corpse is doing business as. Okay. And when they don't have any business here. Subject or that's mm-hmm. Islam. So how does that differ from the mailing process when you're mailing it to the subject? When you're that's why I said what I said about the zip code and things like that. Now, when we first started doing see this is a this this is a subject, okay? We're giving our subject some commands or notification rather. Or or commands, either one. But mostly notification and they just make sure that the system reflects what we stated. When we when we first started doing liens and we were leaning corpses, we 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 were they weren't they were doing business as then, okay? So they weren't even acting like they were in subject status when we first started doing lean. It wasn't until the lean was done that they became subject. Because the only reason they came here is for commerce. They didn't come here to be the government. We're the government. They didn't come here to do any of that. So we had to stop their commerce and say, okay, now you're not even going to do commerce. You're going to be subject to the Moors. And anything you do is going to be for that reason. So that's why it changed. You know, it changes from the time you first do a lien. When I first did a lien, uh, and and now I I do them all like this. Even if I'm sending out liens, I'm not talking to corpses. I never was talking to corpses because they can't talk to us. We're alive. A corpse address looks like the one that Noble Phoenix showed us in his, uh, and we thank you for that, Noble Phoenix, uh, in the presentment that he that he put where his mailing was on the screen. That is a corpse doing business as sheriff. We're not even talking to them. That's why theirs is in black. We're not talking to them anymore. They don't exist. Right now, everyone's a subject. All offices are subject to the Moors. Does that um, assist, Empress? Did I? Yes. Islam. And someone... A chat can subjects use the mailing process. Um, can subjects use the mailing process? I'm going to say yes. Is there anyone here who objects to the subjects using the mailing process? Um, well, technically, that would probably be okay. Um, my spirit here's, is here's my question. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Go ahead, Noble Phoenix. My spirit is saying, uh, no, they shouldn't be using that yet. That should not not just yet. I'm not saying that at some point in the future that won't be available, but at this point, while we're still trying to or working towards completing our demonstration and perfecting it, is not the time for some of them to get involved and be messing around or because they may not be here, they're not in the Congress. Any of that. I, I don't know. There's something that's just telling me, no, that's not time so, for this. Islam? Islam in person. Um, how, if they don't use this process, right. they're subjects they cannot use fiat. We cannot cross jurisdictions. There so you we go. We have to have something in place. Yes. We must provide for them. So, yeah. I suggest that they do it the way we have it on the screen here. Oh, and so they would be using, because they'd be using, that's the government mailing process. Yes. It is. Yes. But even, even whether, you know, not even getting deep into it, the fact of the matter is no fiat can right. be used in this case. Right. So we must make, we must make way for them to use the process, and so here's how we state doing it. Uh, King County Sheriff's Office, they're not the sheriff, they're they're a subject in the office of, or wherever they're, and, and uh, they're gonna be sending like this anyway. So they should, it should just say subject, Jane Board, and I just, I just use that name as a name, uh, and then use the mailing process and make sure that whoever they're talking to knows that they're a subject too. 
they have to say, they have to state that whoever is in that office is a subject too. Um, because they're a subject, and whoever it is that they're speaking to is a subject. Islam. Islam. Okay, for clarification, I'm okay with the subjects used in the government mailing process. Um, as stated, we're we're not using fiat, so they would have to have some reason, some way to get us the gold that we are um, requiring for the federal license program and driver's mm-hmm. license and all that. Mm-hmm. So um, my my question is, or the clarification that I'm asking for is, would that be after, would they be, are we permitting them to use the government mailing process after they've been properly notified and we received the gold and they received the identification, we've received the Morris Ipso, Ipso Jur statement mm-hmm. and all of that, or? Mm-hmm. No, when they, when they, when, even when they send something out, like for example, if 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 Jane Bort was sending something from here, and she's a subject, she can just put Jane Bort nine whatever and put that the office is a subject also. However, um, in order for them to use that the process, they must be properly identified as a subject. Well, they have to identify themselves as subject. So, so I think that subject part is probably going to be. Uh, need to be there. Yeah, they can use the mailing process, but proper identification is 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 part of that. Islam. Islam. Are they required to put something on the public record, just as we have had to? I mean, yes. Islam, that's what I was asking. Maybe I didn't make myself clear, but yeah, I mean, something needs to be yeah. placed on the public record that they know that they're subjects. So we stated, and you all may not have, have been uh, on the call at the time, but about two weeks ago, we stated that the subjects take a plain white piece of paper, call it an affidavit, and put their affidavit of, for, of subject status on the public record. And whenever they have proof, and the, the, the affidavit on the public record on white, plain white paper, it must be without spot or wrinkle or blemish or any such thing. That's number one. Number two, it must state in earnest and, and, and from the spirit that they are subjects of, the, of this government. However, they state our government, Morris National Republic, federal government, or the United States, the living United States, either one. And it really should say you, the living United States, um, that they are American citizens subject to the laws of the United States, the living United States. On the public record, on a plain white piece of paper, without spot or wrinkle or blemish or any such thing. Now, what that does is the same thing that was happening in the last era. In the last era, we would send something to somewhere, just a plain letter, and the dead would claim the letter because it wasn't moored to anything. In their case, they're sending a plain letter affidavit. It's an affidavit. It must be an affidavit. They're sending a plain affidavit. The living is automatically going to catch it and moor it to the land because of the documentation, because they're sending it from our state and not from the dead state. And they can put it in blue ink. We stated that in a previous, uh, but we'll continue to state it because it's important. So thank you for asking that. Mecklenburg Sheriff's Office, whoever the subject is, needs to know that they don't have any jurisdiction over other subjects. We have jurisdiction over them all. And that's why it's put, it's stated this way. And we're the, we're the sheriff, not, 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 not them. And that's, that's clear. That's, that's clear just because of all. And then again, when we send things more, we, that's why it's important for us to automatically send uh, an affidavit on Morris government letterhead preferably the fiduciary document, but if you don't have that, your name change in judicial proclamation with anything that you send out. Islam. Islam, thank you so much for covering as much as 
because it's needed because we we're all sending these parcels in our bonds. We don't want anything holding that up. Exactly. Uh, also, we were also discussing uh, going physically going in, of course, notifying them first that we're coming in and take over the post office and assume our duties as the postmaster general. We've actually already done that because I went in to do the same thing. Uh, and and when she said something about the badge, I, I thought, okay, the badge. When it's time, the ancestors are going to let us, let, for each one of us, we will know this already. When it's time for us to go in and do those things, the spirit is going to say, okay, you've done everything. Now it's time. You will yes. know without a doubt that it's time mm -hmm. and that your paperwork, you've done everything. You've demonstrated the office mm -hmm. and everything. The ancestors gave me a, a, a little push about a week and a half ago, maybe two, yeah, about a week and a half ago, that it's almost time. It's yes. almost time. Not yet. Almost. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. And when we go, there's not going to be any pushback. Nobody's going to have to worry about warring with anybody. It's going to be peaceful. Peaceful. Very, yes, yes. very peaceful. Yes. We won't have to tell anybody who we are. We're going to speak our court actions like we always do. Remember, when, when we were in corporate, quote-unquote, corporate America, whenever a big boss came, quote-unquote, and we, let's say we were walking through the halls, many of you might remember this, that whenever they came, they would be smiling and everything, and then when they saw you, the first thing they would say is, well, what is your name? And yes, what do you yes. do here? They yes, were doing yes. a court action on our behind then. Wow. And taking jurisdiction. Mm -hmm. They would say, what is your name and what do you do here? Oh, how long have you been doing that? That's, those, that's three questions right there. Mm -hmm. True, true. And then they would uh, enact brushing us to the side and saying, basically just saying, okay, you can get out the way. I got jurisdiction over right. you. Let, let, right. me, let me go on to the next one. <laughs> this is true. No matter how good a job you did, they did that. Right. Every single time they did it. Yeah. I learned from yeah. them. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to, but we don't treat our subjects like that. No. no but we know our place. Me and Sasha and Earl and others, and we've been chatting about this. So our spirit is, yeah. is like, it's time. So let's move in that direction. That's what we're doing now. Sister, she's going to be designing uh, the IDs necessary. Yeah. So we can begin perfect to do that your because it is time. Before you go. Always perfect your processes before you go. Mm -hmm. And then once your processes are perfected, the spirit is going to say go. Go. Mm hmm that's why it's not really necessary for us to go to those places, but the Spirit gave me a little push, and, and that is how I knew that the only thing that was missing was a badge because yeah. they had everything else. She didn't even question who I was. She didn't say, well, who are you? What is your name? None of that. None. Of that. None. And I was going to go to the back. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. And, but you it's, have it's, to have a badge that looks like ours. Okay, no problem. That's all I needed to know. Islam. And I was out. Yes. Went to make my badge. Right. <laughs> Sasha's crafting it up. We've been chatting about her. She's going to craft it up. And we're going to have a front side and a back side as well. Yes. Um, Emperor Sasha, yes. really quickly, uh, there was a website that I went to. Let me see. Office. Uh, there was a website that I went to to get the font. Oh. Let me see. Nope, that's not it. And it's funny. Before you, that congressional... This is it right here. This is one of them. Okay. But what I did, I had to restate the font, so I put it in blue, and I there's no there's no um, disconnections in our letters, so I went ahead and made this a pyramid. Yeah. Okay. So um, I'll put this link in the chat for those who want to make their postmaster. Um, that's funny, one. I had actually done a search for some postmaster badges. And I yeah. came across one, and then here we came to Congressional Assembly, and there you, your, there was your beautiful 
So the spirits were speaking. Yes, indeed. That that means it's almost time. That yes. because we're all thinking the same thing, and the yeah, and that's why I say. It, it is unmistakable when the spirit says, okay, prepare. The spirit is not going to tell you, you know, like you wake up one morning and the spirit say, okay, today you go going to the, most likely the spirit won't do that. Most likely the spirit will prepare you. You will send paperwork ahead. I told them I was coming in. I sent documentation saying I was coming in. I did state one thing that was not, that, that the ancestor said, no, that's not why you're there. Because I said I was coming in to work because I wanted to make sure that I, that they knew I wasn't coming to serve. I was coming to work. The ancestor said, no, you're coming to lead. You're the postmaster. Mm. So I have to correct that in the language because I sent ahead of time and, and, and went when I said I was going to be there. Went postmaster and all. But I didn't have my badge. And that's why because the yeah. word wasn't quite right. Yes, yes, but the ancestors gave us good grace and coverage when we do things like that. They told me to go, and I'm, and and when they speak like that, I know that go go test the water. And when I went, it was about four. It was four something. They closed at five. We closed at five rather. Um, I went about was it four something or was it early in the morning? I think I went at like ten something in the morning. I have to look back at the at the affidavit that I sent, I sent an affidavit about a week ahead of time telling them I was coming. Okay. Um, you went for the information. I went yeah. for the information and to see, and, 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 you know, if the ancestors were ready for us to go into to the back and start doing an audit or whatever we're going to do there, uh, because I know that's partially what we're doing is we're going to be going to restate all documentation. Everything has to be restated. Um, whatever the ancestors tell us is what we'll do. And they make it very clear in our spirit. We will know that it's not programming speaking. It's not ego speaking. It's them in us, through us. They practically get us up out of the seat <laughs> and, and have us go when, when it's time for us to do something like that. It's almost time, though. You all, your spirits are saying the same thing ours is. It's going to be peaceful, very peaceful, very peaceful. I know so, yes. Yeah. Our job is to prepare. Yeah. Prepare for the coming of the Lord. Indeed. Prepare ye the way is, is actually the Lord is preparing their own way. The their Lords are preparing. Way. Yes, because can't nobody else do it. Right. True. Yeah. We we also were sharing. Okay, the bond, the postal bond, will pay for their salaries, wages. Yes. Uh, yeah. So, I want to go in and just see, yes. survey the you, operation. I, I worked. I worked in corporations. I worked in factories. I I, I know how things go, structurally. So, see so how my, from the yeah. back. I want to get a vehicle. Yeah. I need a vehicle. I'm the postmaster. Okay. I need a vehicle so I can get around. Okay, and so see if you guys let's. Operation. So so mm -hmm. let's. Uh, they're not going to give you a vehicle. You're going to give it to yourself. <laughs> Don't expect them to give it to you. You're gonna you're right. gonna have the documentation right. to where they just move out of the way and you get it. The mm -hmm. same way we're getting everything else. Yes. There are some things the ancestors showed us about that. Um, and that. We're all getting the same message in our spirit. Mm -hmm. As long as we, and I'm going to say this three times because it's a spell, and this is for everyone. I'm not speaking directly to anyone. Get the ego out of the way. Get the ego out of the way. Get the ego out of the way. Get the war energy out of the way. No war energy. No war energy. No ego energy. Ego is, uh, this is not about that. It's about us taking full control and access of our own vast estate. This is our estate. It's ours. And this is for all of us. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, if, the, if, if, you know, if ego programming is going, it's, it's going to come out in, in things we say and do. Yeah. We can all yeah. tell when people are, are operating out of ego just by what they say. Mm -hmm. So, uh, 
Do yeah. all the work. Yeah. Even if you feel that you're not operating in the ego, just go ahead and do some more spirit work to make sure, just to just to solidify, you know. Yeah. Um, ego usually says I a lot. I, I S I and I alone. Yes. Yeah. Us together. It's our all our spirits combined, light upon light. That that's usually the ego is an I thing a lot. Yeah. I did this and I did that and I I I I I. Now we. Yeah. Yes. It collectively has... together. That's not ego. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's um, been my experience. You know, everything that we've written had to be we. The ancestors put that in us early. That all of our documents should say we, 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 unless it's specific to you and what you're doing, like my domicile, but even my domicile said we, because this this domicile belongs to the estate. You know, uh, we just have eminent dom- dominion here, but, you know, so our job is as we're doing things, before you make any move, clear energy, fill that energy that you clear it with, with love and light, and then move forward with what you're doing. So uh, are there any other questions, comments, wisdom? I'm just going to add that every time you say we, which is we, which is yes in French. Yes in French. And so it's saying yes. It's yes, saying yes to life, to love, yes. to community, to all of those things. Yes. We. Yes. Yes. And you know what? The the subjects keep saying, uh, mercy. Let's pray for mercy. Let's pray for mercy. But mercy means thank you in French. Yes, it does. And our ancestors spoke French. Mine, my my well, well, vast majority of mine spoke French. It comes out in the way my ancient English manifests. Exactly. Yeah. And patois is yeah. pile of toi, our word, our language. So you can you can hear the French even in in that. Mm. Yeah. And the subjects are saying thank you, yeah. mercy, mercy me, thank you, yeah. thank you, yeah, for saving yeah. us. <laughs> yes, yes, and for making room and making room for us. Yeah. It's right, expanding the circle to let us in. Yeah, we'll never yeah. step out of a line again. <laughs> yeah, you know what, magistrate and subject, chapter twenty nine of the Circle Seven. Yeah, I've read that a few times now. I I I know what you're saying about it. Yeah. yeah. We restated it to the matriarchy because we matriarchs, we have a, a version, uh, a creation of the circle seven that is matriarchal in nature. In, mm-hmm. We are writing it right now, all of us. Yeah. So we've restated all. There never was a time when we were not. There's that we again. It's the we. <laughs> CC, we, yeah. So our prophet Noble Drew Ali wrote it from the patriarchal perspective in preparation for the patriarchal age. So he did absolutely what he was supposed to do. And now we're doing it for the matriarchal age. Yeah. So exactly. with that, yeah. Wow. It's our time, matriarchs, and also for the the nobles who have matriarchal energy which all of you do at some point that's or else you wouldn't know what we were thinking and you wouldn't know how to deal with us on whatever levels that you deal with us indeed and for that we're we're so grateful we're so grateful islam we yes indeed with that being stated we will adjourn until Thursday at 7 p.m. And listen, this time right here, just it's everything for us. This we're on. It's our it's our time. It's our time. Islam. Peace and grand rising to the sovereign, original, indigenous, natural, divine heirs, and and peace and grand rising to all of those who are fasting. My fast ends at midnight tonight. So for that, we're grateful. Islam. Peace and grand rising. Merci beaucoup. Wow. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Au revoir. Au revoir. Indeed. Au revoir.
Grand Rising. Bonjour. Grand Rising. 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 Peace and love. 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 Peace and love.